go. Hey, hey everybody, go. welcome to. Is, is, is it good? Hold on, start again. Did you say go? Did that on purpose that time. You did it on purpose. Hey! Hey! Hey, everybody! Hey, everybody! Welcome to the Night Fest Tavern! It's Bill Smudge. What's up, buddy? One sec. <clears throat> I need to move this. What is, what is that? Are you going to a a, a, ta a table, ladder, chairs match? I need to move this. You're putting, you're putting a pin for a puppy? What is going Who keeps on? keeps leaving all this junk in the tavern? What is that? What is that? It's a dryer. Oh. Oh, it's not a it's not a dryer, but okay, okay. Or a, hey. or, or a, clo a clothes horse. A clothes horse. I mean, never is that we you never call it a clothes horse. It's a clothes horse. Uh, which, what are you? You're making stuff up. Nope, that's what it's called. You're making stuff up. Do What's up, buddy? Should I demo it? Yes. Do you ride it? Can you cl what is that? Did you say, can you climb it? Yes! What are you talking about? It's not what a ladder. Is, what joking? is it? It's just a bit. What is that? We, we didn't talk about this in, in the pre-show. It's, not, what on is the, it's that? not in the show notes. <laughs> Bring on the notes. Are you having me on? Oh, I, I don't know what that means either, but, uh, like, what is that? It's a clothes dryer. It's a clothes horse. No, a clothes dryer is a big machine you no, put clothes no, into with a dryer no, sheet. No, no, and then you no, press the button, no. and then it heats it up and spins in circles. That's I have a clothes one of those dryer. Too, but this is, for, this is for the eco friendly. You just hang your clothes up and they dry naturally. That's a clothes line. You go outside where you have a big tea, wooden tea here. What if you can't go outside? Here. Then you like you, you can't go outside. You don't have a garden. Yeah. Huh? Think she's let it dry on like on the floor. No, not on the floor. On the on the clothes dryer. Ah! But the, the water What's drips happening? to the floor. The water drips to the floor. It's flaw. It's flawed. It doesn't come you out. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't come out. If you if you Does wash it come something out of the and washing pull... machine dripping wet. Oh, what are you talking about? Like, what, like it's right, just the, dripping wet. Does the washing machine I have floor? water in it? What's going on? <laughs> what, what's in the washing machine? Like hopes and dreams? I don't understand. <laughs> what's what's in your washing machine? Or what do you? Wait, wait, do, do you have um? What do, what do you call it a spins. washing machine? Over there? Mama, you, you, you're a, uh, uh, what? you're doing it on purpose. You're crazy. You're, you're crazy, it man. It spins. You have this... It spins round and round. It doesn't come out like sopping wet, does it? Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, ah! I'll, I'll. I'll take a video of it the next time I do laundry. Oh, How about that? I, I quit. <laughs> I don't know Someone put me out of my misery. <laughs> hey, Tugs. Tugs is Tugs will put you out of misery. Ready? Three, two, one. Tugs! Tugs! <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, but I wasn't ready for this. How you doing, We should have talked about this in the show. Oh. You got this contraption over here, just like it folds in, folds out, like yeah, it's. Yeah, of course, like, it folds up and you store it somewhere. I mean, that's just handy. Oh man, oh man. Pretty nice. If you get like four of those, <laughs> could you build like a house? You know? Yes, yes. You, uh, you could. You could. It wouldn't be very warm or waterproof. Mm. But yes, mm. you could do. I mean, you can build a house out of anything, really. That's fair. You could. <sighs> What's up, buddy? I can't believe that. You're out of your mind. <laughs> you no, know you. 
No, you. Out of your mind. Out of your mind, fucker. How you been, man? One sec, I think I'm, I think I'm doxing my toddler. Hold on. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're pulling some noobs. What are you thinking there? It's just like she just has like a little bag and it has a name on it, you know? Oh. What's so your favorite? What's your so favorite board to game? Steal my toddler's identity. That's fair. What's my favorite? What? Yeah, uh, board. That's yeah, a board game. Is mine. What's your favorite board game? What's my favorite board game? Yeah. Well, I have a lot of favourites. Can I talk to you about which which one should, should we do? Board case, board game, blah, 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 board game corner. You ready? Sure. Yeah. What's the little board game? Yeah, board game corner. Yeah. Mm. Mm, as much ponders upon the dozens and dozens of unopened boxes he hasn't looked at since childhood. Mm, what is so, this he says? I like this one. The gang will be familiar because we played it at Dota weekend. This is Dead of Winter. Oh. This is like... Um, this is like... So it's like a co-op strategy game where you play a bunch of uh, survivors who have holed up uh, in like a colony, like, uh, like, a, like a base in the zombie apocalypse and it's winter time and so oh. <clears throat> and so it's one of those ones where <clears throat> like every round more and more zombies turn up and you can bring more survivors into the group some of them are useful but some are like helpless mouths to feed and then you have to leave the colony <clears throat> to go get food get other get medicine get other requirements <clears throat> uh, to work in, in to work together to some sort of scenario defined by the game mission. So it might be like, hey, in this game you need to get X number of resources by the end of the, end of the go or, or something like that. But it's one of those ones where it like builds up more and more, <clears throat> becomes more enchanted, like the zombies sort of get out of control and so you're going to lose people, uh, you're going to have to like maybe sacrifice like food, eating food or, or you know, mm. making decisions. And it has, it has like a light sort of role-playing thing where you might yeah every turn a resource management situation yeah but every turn someone will draw a card and there might be like a little scenario which you might vote on to say what you want to do like do you want to want to kick someone out of the colony do you want to bring someone in like that kind of stuff and it's a sort of uh role-playing type thing all the all the characters have like a different skill so you can there's like a there's like a cop or like a sheriff who's really good at shooting guns. Okay, there's like cool. a there's like a dog uh, that you can play. There's like a a mall Santa who everybody hates. And if you get rid of him, <laughs> okay. if you get rid of him, uh, uh, morale increases. So, so it's like you can lose a survivor and basically like lose an action, but uh, your morale will get better. It's fun. And there's also like um, one of you can be like a traitor. So one of you can be working against the group, potentially. That sounds pretty cool. I um, yeah. sounds cool. We should uh, play board, board games, you know. Maybe we should play. We should play some board games on stream. Uh, that'd be interesting. We yeah. should play some board games for community night, maybe. How do we do that? Well, there's ways to do it, probably. Of course, on like online. Okay. Um, how's the week been? It's been really busy, man. Really let's, busy. Haven't done much gaming. Let's just but put, let's just put the clothes dry thing aside, okay? I've forgotten okay. about it. Okay. I'm still your friend, your confidant. Just Thanks, don't worry man. about it. Let's Thanks. Put it behind us. I'm ready to Thanks. move on. Let's fold it up and put it behind us. <laughs> Climb on top of it. Um, I'm okay, man. I just haven't played much games. I've been doing a lot of just work sure. stuff going on. Mm. Um. But I've been good, man. How about you? What you been up to? You been, you been up to anything? Anything new? Any video games? Yeah, I was telling you earlier, I've been busy at work too. I had to pull kind of a late night, Monday night, I think, to get a presentation okay. ready. I was hoping that I could maybe do the presentation and then my boss, um, it was the plan was that, that she would sort of walk through it. She's poorly, so now I have to do the presentation tomorrow. So, you know, write the, you know, do the presentation, mm. present the presentation. So it's okay, it's fine. 
Uh, it's not my boss's fault, she's sick, but, uh, yeah. I've got What's the audience like here? We got people, several people, a couple, like, what do we think? Uh, some animals, some robots, dragon. What? You said, what's the audience like? Some people? It's like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's people. It's people. Oh, I mean, I mean, like, is it a few people or dozens or hundreds or what are you thinking, yeah? Probably, probably at least a dozen. Probably less than two dozen, I'd say. High up on hierarchy, medium, mid-tier, what are we thinking? Uh, my boss's boss will be there. Mm, that's fine. But that's okay. Okay. That's fine. Well, that goes good, man. Good luck. It's like, it's a weird one because I'm, I'm basically sort of, uh, you must get this all the time, I'm basically presenting like how we're gonna, how we're gonna do the work, how we're gonna do the job. Sure. But I'm still quite new to the team, so it's a bit like, ah, here's, here it is. But it's okay, because it was drawn from the team anyway, so it shouldn't be like, uh. it shouldn't be like too controversial, but it is a bit of me yeah. like, hey, here's, here's what we're doing now. That makes uh, sense. Um... I have uh, look at this a little a little tea cake. Do you have do you have tea cakes in the U.S.? Uh, we don't call them tea cakes. What do you think? I mean, well, some people. What's this what? other? Probably uh, some kind of bread of some sort, like a sweet, moist bread. Bread. bread? Yeah. It's covered in chocolate. What's that? Bread. Yeah, like a like a like a Hagen Dazs cupcake, right? It's it's got bread, like a chocolatey bread. Bread. I mean, is is, is mean am cake? I using the wrong fucking noun? Do you mean cake? Yes, cake, cake. Well, cake like isn't bread. <laughs> what, what is do you happening? Mean cake is <laughs> cake is <laughs> literally bread. Huh? Cake is a type of it's it's, it's made oh, of wheat. Oh man! Oh come on, man! You it's wheat. Bre bread cake. <laughs> it's wheat. I think you're having me on again. First the first the dryer. Now this is cake bread. <laughs> cake is a kind of bread. <laughs> you bake bread. You bake a cake. But not all bread is cake. Is that what you're saying? I, I think all cake is bread. All cake is... <laughs> All cake is bread. I've never had a piece of cake that wasn't Sounds bread. Like, oh my god, is it this again? <laughs> I mean, maybe cheesecake is different, I guess. <laughs> but, like, cake, you know? Is cheesecake bread? <laughs> no, that's that's different. <laughs> that's different. It's not really, we, we had, it's not really a cake. It's more like a, it's a dessert. It's like a... <sighs> I've, like lost pastry. I've lost it. I've lost it. So you're saying, you're saying, you're saying all cake is bread, but not all bread yes. is cake. Yeah. Yes. Correct. 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 Both. Yes. Like I have a piece of toast in the morning. I don't have a piece of cake in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Well, you could do. Yeah, but I would have to cut a slice of cake, which would be like a, a pastry sweet, like chocolate. Oh, that's a piece of cake. You know what I mean? <laughs> but you wouldn't. You wouldn't go out to buy a birthday cake and say, "Can you, can I buy some birthday bread?" <laughs> no, you, but you keep your but, bread. <laughs> no, but if, like, if oh, I go to these cakes right here, sir. But if I go to the Dairy Queen, I don't go to the Dairy Queen and say, "Hey, can I get some milk and ice cream together, but cold?" Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I get a milkshake. It's like it's just a it's a tense. You know what I mean? Like. Do you under do you understand like if you can bake a cake? You know what I mean? But do you understand if I held up this chocolate tea cake here and said, "What do you think is inside this?" Despite the fact I said it was cake, but maybe that's the that that's the that's the joke, not the joke, but that's the thing, that's the twist in this tale. But if I said, "Check check out this tea cake. What do you think's in here?" and you said bread, I would think you mean bread and not cake. You don't know. There's not. There's not like. There's not like a sourdough encased in this chocolate. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cut that in half. No, it's like, not a it's, it's, like a, it's like a ham sandwich minus the ham. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. Like <laughs> I think you're having me on. Whatever that means. <laughs> it's just the worst start to a stream you've ever had. Hey, you know what? Hey, let's 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 just. Let's just use your quote unquote tower rack and climb out of here. I don't know. It's, 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 marsh cake. it's marshmallow, motherfucker. It's, it's marshmallow. 
Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Marshmallows are good. I love marshmallows. Marshmallows are great. If Swedish sandwich cake used cake and not bread, I'd be fine with it. I don't know what the Swedish sandwich cake is in. Tooks said this is what going insane feels like. Sorry, Tooks. It's a it's a biscuity base with like a the mallow. What the fuck does that mean? A biscuity base? <laughs> yeah. What, what are you, Doctor Seuss? What, <laughs> what is what is that? It's like a bis, it's like a biscuity base. <laughs> what what is this? It's like a crispity cake. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this means. What's up, sushi? <laughs> What's up, Karen? What are you laughing at? Uh, I can't take it. Can't hey, guys, take welcome it. to the what first time. It's Bill and Dr. Seuss. And coming up next, the cat in the hat. Oh, <laughs> man. <clears throat> you oh, drunk? Man. <clears throat> I'm not drunk. I got water. I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't drink anymore so much. I wish I was drunk. Bloody hell. I drink water. It's a <laughs> I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. It's a biscuity base. Hey, if you, if you want to turn this into like an American rap and freestyle stream, I can get up a beat and we can just go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the little country of crisp, crisp, it, but it's not crispity creams. <laughs> oh, man. Smudge. That looks really good. It's not my favorite, but I do like it. Looks it. really good. I do like but it. But sometimes it can be too much marshmallow, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Right? Too like like Mucho Marshmallow, you know what I mean? Um Is it Irish Subway not able to call their sandwich bread bread as they got too much sugar? Oh really? Mm. That's interesting. Hey, you great know that. Um what video games we playing, buddy? Any Final Fantasy VII update? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I guess where you are? You may. Um. Cloud just found the actual Sephiroth stuck into the crystal-like thing under the tree. That cutscene. Not there yet. Ah, oh, what a cutscene, though, right? He's a, the weapons coming out of the. <laughs> Right? Am I right? Yeah, you know I mean, the primary difference between bread and cake is that yeast is used as the leavening agent, but other ingredients, including sugar, eggs, milk, and fat, also lead to differences in texture between the two. The trick is to eat the whole tea cake in one mouthful. You put it all in there. That's what you do. Put it all in there? Put it all in there. Eat the whole cake in one bite. That's too that's too big to put in. No, it's just like uh hamburger king, you know what I mean? Let's go let's go to town. <coughs> you know the you know the hamburger king is? <coughs> Do I know what the what is? The hamburger king? Yeah, I've been to I've been to Burger King. No 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 no, you don't know who the hamburger king is. Yeah, Burger King. The king? No. The king from Burger King? No. So, uh, sorry, I had to I shut this door here because I think there was some noise coming through it. But um, I am uh, a little bit further, but not, not too much further. I am... Uh, I, I, I did the snowboarding. That was terrible. And then, oh, in Glacier City or Icicle City? Uh, Icicle Area. Icicle Area. Icicle Inn. I can't remember the town. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you're like wandering, do you remember like wandering across that snow field and you have to put down markers because then oh, the wind blows and it turns your camera yes, around? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit, I just used the guide to tell me where all the items were in that area because like you can wander around yeah. it for absolutely ages. But, yeah. Like, yeah. There's a summon, there's a, yep. a kind of an important material in there. So, um. That one, and when you dig up the ground with the, the bomb excavation thing, I've always that just guided game. those. That one's a game. Yeah, uh, yeah I just use guides. Though. I don't have time. Because I think, there. I think yeah. the Lunar Harp is always in the same place. Exactly, yeah. But there yeah, are yeah. other items that are randomized. You just have to kind of place them. Yeah. You have, like, five guys, and they all look. So you just need to place them, like, 
around the sides yeah. and they'll look. So you okay? You're finding so, your sorry, way. So, you're, so basically, I've, yeah. I, I've I've got all the items. I'm ready to move on, but I'm just I haven't quite moved on yet. Okay, so you're almost going to that badass cutscene. That's so cool. So I've so just gone to explain the difference between a real and a fake Sephiroth. <laughs> I wouldn't. Well, yeah. That's the first time we see the real Sephiroth, right? Yes. yes. That's my it's that's it's my interpretation. Yes. That's my interpretation Spoilers. as well. By the way, Spoilers. spoiler alert. But yeah, that everyone else, all the other Sephiroths you've seen, or are, the Sephiroth, I don't know. Have you seen multiple by that point? Probably. Yes, they're yeah. they're all Genova, yeah? Well, they're clones. Yeah, they're clones. Yeah, or, or clones, right? Yeah, yeah. Spoilers! Hope no yeah. one's looking to play Rebirth soon. It hasn't played the original. <laughs> okay. Um, I haven't played many games, man, but I did see they released a new Starfield update, so I'm kind of down to get into that. And um, what's what's in that? Uh, I, it might be the rest of the game. From what I'm looking at, I don't know. Like sure. <laughs> they, they fix some stuff. I did beat it again the other day. I think I told you. Yeah, did you, you finish it like three times now? Three times. Oh yeah, three times. But we didn't really say hi. Did we say hi to Doctor Sushi? Uh, I said hey Sushi. I said hey Sushi. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice to see. You. Hey Sushi. <clears throat> but we didn't say Zan, and we didn't say Karen, and we didn't say Sushi. Let's knock him out in that order. You ready? Don! Karen! Karen! Sushi! Sushi! I feel like this is really working for us. I feel like um, this is 2024's highlight. This uh, this thing. This cheer that we've got going. Do you think? Uh, I just yeah. I also realized that Doctor Sushi had a quick a uh, little a quick lurk from this slick jerk makes Billet so much twerk. That's pretty that funny. Very, that's like, very uh, cute. That's very yeah. cute. Uh, oh, so she heard us. Yes. Yeah, we just they, that's what, what that's, that was the plan to get you back, get you back looking <laughs> at the screen. <laughs> Got you just it. do that every five minutes to everybody to make make sure people are still watching. Oh, he's cooking. Oh, what are you cooking? Sorry. Uh, also, cooking. Zan played a bit of Starfield today and never want to play that again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's not for, not for everybody, man. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd, I'd go back to it, I think. I'd go back to it. I think it, I'd, I'd wait until they stop tinkering with it, and they will be tinkering with it. I, I can't wait until they, like, in the next two years when that happens, and there's a resurgence of, like, is Starfield good? And then I'm going to yeah, be here, sure. like, and then I'm going to be here, like, they ruined it. Yeah. Gamer ran articles saying, stuff was good now, go play. I'm making a chicken and bacon cream pasta with broccoli and mushrooms. That sounds pretty good. That sounds phenomenal, dude. Holy I'm not holy. a massive broccoli fan. Do you like broccoli, Bill? Yeah, it's broccoli okay. Broccoli, Bill, that's what they call him. It's, it's, that's not what they call him, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, bacon, Bill. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I like, I like tender stem broccoli, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, I'll just you know eat I mean, it out of the bag. I don't know, I'm pretty, pretty chill. Um, it's okay. Okay. Um, they're tiny trees. <laughs> they're <laughs> they're tiny. Gotta eat those those guys. Yeah, there's bacon, a bacon. Phil, there's a man there's a man in in the UK who's into his fitness. I don't want to mention his name. I don't want to get, I don't want to signal boost him. But he he refers to broccoli <laughs> as midget trees, and I think for a while that kind of <sighs> caught on. Around here, and you're like, oh, no. oh, get, get my midget trees on. That's uh, that's that's the path in life. That's the deep path. The deep path is that leads to a lot of things. Kid loves broccoli. He told me it's soft on the top but crunchy on the bottom. Amazing, just like my tea cake. Okay. Oh God. Um. I played. We. I played so much Dungeons Dragons since the last time we spoke. Oh, wait. Well, well in the last uh, one. We, we had our game. You know what? Uh, Tinny did say y'all had a game. So we played. We played Sunday afternoon. And then yes, we did. I played again in person Monday night. The back to back Dungeons and Dragons, dude. It takes, Holy it, takes moly. it out of you. I think it's. I think it's exhausting. Well, you, so DM, you DM both games, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's mentally that that's a lot. Yeah, that, that's a lot more e- exertion you're doing there. 
So uh, on um, Monday we kicked off a new game of Fan Delver and Below, which is the reprinted version of The Lost Minds mm. of Fan Delver, the one that we played at the very beginning. Um, so looking for Gundren Rockseeker and yes. the Wave Echo Cave that would ring a bell. Vaguely, How yes. How do you remember that? I thought that was a, I thought that was a memory that we had all shared together playing that game. We did. But you don't remember its name? I, or what yes. it was about? Yes. I remember it so well. It was <laughs> like it was yesterday. He, he, um, gets kidnapped by, he gets kidnapped by goblins. And you have to go in the yes. cave. And there's a bugbear. Yes. The bugbear. There's, there's a castle. A dragon. I don't remember the castle. You go to a castle. And then you go to the cave itself. How'd you like it? Have fun? I did have fun. I thought that I played with uh, people who are mostly inexperienced with Dungeons and Dragons, and I think they did pretty well. Uh, that's a good campaign to like slow roll it, and it kind of it, it's a good tutorial to get to get you in the groove. Like it starts straight with a fight, and then they do a bit of investigating, and now they did a bit of sneaking to get into the cave, and now it's sort of like we were not there yet. But no, it's like like a bigger area to explore, and then you go to town, um, and get some side quests and stuff like that. So it's a good like lead in to how to play Dragons. They did really well. Sometimes I think that that level one can be a bit dicey, but they basically uh, they killed most of the goblins straight away with some lucky rolls. That's good, and um, uh, their biggest their biggest obstacle was a hole in the floor there was like a pit trap and they fell into it and that was that gave us the most uh pause really so yeah it was all right what um is this yes or no we could keep it moving quick is playing with tinny insufferable or uh yes like yes no, no okay. of course not no he's okay just he's checking <laughs> he so yeah he i mean we have he, he and i played before and we we started playing fandelver like a while ago <laughs> he probably because he's a gamer, I think he probably gets it more in terms of okay. like, I don't know, sure, yeah. in terms the, of like what's required and that kind of thing. Yes, 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 yes. I gotta find the key or the right person or I gotta find the guy that yeah I know she means. Yeah, and the role playing as well. I think he's more he's more willing. I think to have a conversation. Oh, okay. Where I think other people will find that like a little bit strange to talk in character. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a little. Um... Awkward at first, right? Yeah. yeah like, do, I, sure. do, I, do I use a dialect? What do I do here, right? So Basically, no I, can, I can say it because they're not watching. But one of, the, one of the guys fell in the hole, and then someone else who was who was trying to role play a little bit was like, you know, are you okay? Do you need me to get get you out? And he was just like, you know, he sort of like looked at me and he was like, uh, what do I say now? And he was like, um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was quite funny and quite cute. Quite cute. <laughs> uh, yes, or, or or he. In, in fact, he might have looked at me and they just said no because <laughs> I'm grumpy <laughs> and I will do it myself or something like that. So that was, that was funny. quite funny. Um, anything you want to talk about in, in terms of news? What about um, a Suicide Squad game? It doesn't work. So what what's happened here? <laughs> it, did it release in? Was it early access? This is out at the moment. It was, it's early it's not access, out but... for real yet, right? Which I do see like three or four people right now that I follow playing it right now, which is pretty hilarious. Um, yeah, it's it's out. Um, it's the deluxe edition early access launch because it doesn't launch properly until February the second. Yes, which is, which is like two days. Friday. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think I read somewhere that you could log into the game and within an hour. Or is it instantly get like a hey you completed the game achievement basically or something right? Oh yeah, right. The, uh, the, there was this issue that that it yeah is that is that why they took it down or or no they two separate issues? I don't know. But no, I don't yeah, know there was one was... where they were just like cool, you get in and it says like you've completed the whole story, perfect. <laughs> yeah, great job. I guess it just boots you straight to the end game or something, and yeah. I guess you can't do the story. That's madness. Sounds um, great. But I think it's I think it's also uh, we're aware a number of players are currently experiencing an issue. Oh yeah, we're we're logging into the game for the first time, the full story completion. 
to resolve this but before you make this in the game servers the game will be unavailable yeah it seems like but it's still um, offline I mean, though right I mean I don't know some people are playing it but I mean, those are like press guys I guess I don't know um Oh, they get sixteen dollars of game currency now. That's what Zen says. Oh, that's great. That's that's just useful. Is what that is. Um, that game never looked great to me. I don't know. I mean, I'm curious. I think it might be back online as of yesterday. Is that true? And then the story now is that they are, um, yeah, that they're yeah, offering they... offering some extra money to spend in game, of course. I don't know, man. Like that game never looked great for me at all, right? I mean, I'm not crazy. I uh, no, you're not. You're not crazy. I think people are gonna buy it though, right? I think. I think it's gonna do. Why? I don't know. Because people like superhero shit. Like I think. Because Harley, like... Harley Quinn is it? In is it? You know. That's probably a reason, right? I mean, everybody's horny for that person, but like the Avengers game wasn't great. Zan says I mean, maybe this is Jeff, bad they didn't comparison. send out review code. Yeah, Gotham Knights. Yeah, it, it, I don't. Yeah. Know, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I think this game is not going to do great. Uh, we'll see. Hope I'm wrong. Hope I'm wrong. Because the more the more sales, the li- the likelier higher chance people keeping jobs. Right. That's how it works. Mm. So sure. We don't want any more layoffs. Sure. Um, but I don't. This is. Can you make your own hero? Or you just strictly play as Suicide Squad, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You play. You pick one of the four of them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still waiting for a game. Like, what was that old game? Was it was it City of Heroes? Was that the old MMO? Oh, that was an MMO. Yeah. Right. That you can like make your own superhero. That's, I mean, I, I never played it, but it's it like a great idea. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. We'll do um, I can't read the whole review, but a review in progress by Metro, which is a UK newspaper, have described it as DC's Avengers. I think that means when they say Avengers, I mean they're re- referencing the Avengers game, right? Yeah, which wasn't great. That, that game... Um... Almost that everything is. that made the Batman Arkham games interesting is gone, and the end result is worryingly similar similar to Square in its Avengers game. In fact, it may be worse, as while the gameplay is somewhat <laughs> more enjoyable, it doesn't have the s- strong story element provided by Miss Marvel's sections. Yeah, it doesn't look great, man. I don't know, uh, but I, but then again, this game's been in in um, production for a while. And when they started making this game, there was a big superhero thing going on. And I don't think people really anticipated the past 18 months of the superhero fatigue that this world has kind of came into all of a sudden. Sure. Uh, I mean, you see left and right that all these shows coming out. Like, a, there's, there's a new Aquaman movie that hit the theaters recently. Why? I had no idea. I had no idea. Why? Uh, so I'm sure that thing probably didn't do great. Um I, I wonder what people are going to do. Like we talked last time, they're probably going to start going to video game movies now, right? But I do wonder if there's ever like a like like what's Marvel going to do with Avengers? That's the whole Jonathan Majors thing. Like what's going to happen? Like no one knows. No one knows. Yeah. We'll find out. For we'll sure. find out for sure. Um, hey, here's a hey. game. Oh, oh, smudge. What is this? This is the home safety hotline. Uh, Zen says, I believe every superhero movie that came out was at Guardians 3 flopped. Yeah, basically, Zen. <laughs> basically. Um, can you can you share it to us so I can watch it? I sure can. I'm just moving us a little bit. Take your time, take your time. I'm moving take us. Your time, I think buddy. we should be on the bottom, time, of the, bottom of the screen for this one. Um, so, that's Not pretty, that I like one. that. Um, so, full transparency, I have not seen this game. Uh, I don't know anything about this game. Uh, I did, however, literally on the ride to work this morning, listen to about 15 minutes of the next Lunar podcast, and they mentioned it. So... Well, there you go. If they mention it, it must be something entertaining. Yeah? Uh, I'm down for it, buddy. 
Uh, what about you? Where is... Have you played this yet? Is this your first time booting up? What are you thinking? I have. So I played the first day, which was just a tutorial. So uh, this is a game where you play uh, a uh, operator, uh, a call center operator for the home safety hotline, hotline set in 1996, and people are going to call in to this call center, ask you advice on problems they're having. Okay, and so we did the first day. We met our boss, our supervisor. She was like, "Welcome to the company," and uh, that's um. Let's watch this. This is uh. Can you send it to me? Can you, are you sure? Oh, sorry, my bad, my bad. No, Do you want it in right. Discord? Yeah, Discord sent to me. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. Things are happening. For Bill's benefit, we can watch this one again. Every year, thousands of families suffer injuries or even death from common household hazards. Hazards such as house fires, flooding, black mold, metamorphosis. Wait, what? Don't become a statistic, call the home safety hotline keep your family safe. A bit of mail here. Some mail from Mike. Quick before it's too late. You don't know me, but I used to have your job. You are in danger. Quit today before it's too late. You don't know enough. It's not too late to quit freely. Trust me. Uh, and then okay. because I did so well, uh, I was rewarded with a, a daily coupon for some bug spray. Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Right. Yeah. Should we uh, should we log in? Should we check in? Uh, yeah, I think, I think you got to. Yeah. 100%. So I need your help. Okay. I'm here to help you so much. Clock in? Yeah. Clock in? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Just gonna wait for a call. Okay, cool. Um So what are you doing this weekend? Oh, oh, oh. can't talk about the weekend now, Bill. Go take the school. Yeah, take it away. Go ahead. It's Carol. Hello. It's Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Ooh. Please be aware that this information is confidential and not to be shared with anyone outside of HSH. If you diagnose one of these hazards, we will be providing only information to the clients that is pertinent to addressing their concerns. Nothing more. Thank you. Oh. Thanks, Carol. Oh. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, boss. So we got some new, some new possible problems. Oh, Bats. Some new injuries. Oh, bad, oh, got a call. Got a call. I can do to... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something, because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, in the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Okay. Uh, yeah, hold on, buddy. So, Mike... Please hold. Mike's been, uh, <laughs> please hold. So Mike's been sneezing. Put him uh, on hold. Black mold. Do you hear the whole music? I can't. I'm thinking black mold so much. You think so? Yeah, it's not bad. So these are, these are you know, some new entries, so bad teeth. That's no, not bad teeth. That's a household fungus known for, oh, growing in blankets. I've never heard of that before. Oh, bed teeth. Oh, bed oh, teeth. Bed teeth. Yeah. You're talking about, of course, I said bad teeth. Oh, man. 
Get a yeah, wash. bed sheets. It, it's a it's a house. It's a fungus that grows like on bed sheets and blankets and stuff. Wait, is that a real thing? Are you having me on? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Carbon is out of control, by the way. Holy shit. Cellar growths. Yep, there's a, like a big fun guy that kind of grows in like cellars and shit. Yep, yep. Common hob? Yeah. Yeah? Just a yep. common species of hob. Yep, yep, yep. It's like a... They're not dangerous, but if you, if you like, if you like bow at them a little bit, then they can do some, some weird stuff. Mm -hmm. You're really good at this, Bill. I didn't know you knew so much about hobs. Why? Well, I, I mean, what about this one? Desk hob. A desk hob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a desk one. Um, they can't be removed once they nest. So you gotta be careful of that. Yeah. A fool's beat? Oh no! Oh man! Creatures with a beat-like appearance. Mm. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. Fracture hob. Ooh. Cause cracks and fractures in the walls. There's That'll a happen. bear of fool's face. Yeah. Uh, this or, guy's been on hold for ages, by the way. Holy moly. Yeah, well, he's, he'll, he'll wait. Uh, or frozen pipes. Um, or that's it. house fires. That's that's not his problem. Your um, pipe growth? Uh, no, that's not it. <laughs> um, you see he's pipe growths hard often grow tree. larger than the pipes they inhabit. And we'll clog the pipe. Yeah, that uh, that happens. Mm -hmm. Or a pipe hob. <laughs> no. Hmm. Stair slug. Hmm. That's disgusting. So, this is not a problem. <sighs> He's sneezing. Can we ventilation? It's gotta be a fungus. You think so? Yeah. Um. So it's not gonna be the full. It's not gonna be the beat. We saw the growth. Mm. No. Yeah, I don't think so. But carbon monoxide. <laughs> Two things. It could be bees. That's a good. That's a good. It could be a good, cho good, good choice. Pips is always bees. What if, what if, Bill? Mm -hmm. What if it could be a fracture hob? Um, I mean, that's like a foundational problem with a house. I don't think so. I think really? you're crazy. Yeah, I don't think so. He didn't see anything about his house at all being fractured, did he? So he's he's inside, uh, never had problems before, but now <clears throat> he's got fracture hobs in his walls. Could be fractured hot walls. Should we try? Yeah, I think so. We don't so find out at the end of the day. I hope I hope Mike is a happy customer. Yeah, he's okay. He's like a good dude. I hate, I hate, I hate hay fever. I hate pollen. It's horrible. Ah, uh, it's the worst, dude. Even worse, we got hobs living in your walls. <laughs> oh, oh, we got a call. Do you know if there's such a thing as house thieves that clean? Like, maybe to disguise the robbery. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but. When I go look at it, I find the place spotless, but haven't yet found anything missing. I've talked with the cops, but they keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Mm. Oh. <clears throat> hold on. Please hold. Um. 
So... What the... What's the stair mm. slug do? Stairwells and basements leave a slimy residue, so it's not that. No, it's not it, no. What about, um... Uh, let's keep looking here. What about... What do we think? <coughs> oh, that could be it. I think you're right. I think it's a desk cob. Yeah, I'd like to tidy homes. Oh, do you think it's a desk hob or a normal hob? Um, I think it's a desk hob. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But no, because she said the living room, didn't she? So I think because yeah. this one, because they're not, they're like consume dust, dirt, sticky substances found on floors and dishes, cleaning them. They come out at night. But the desk hob lives in desks, vanities, and similar structures. They it's tidy really their common. homes and will sort and order materials in the desk. So it's yeah, a common yeah. hob. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. Wow, we're really good at this, Bill. Well, we don't know yet, but I think we are. Have you run into many hobs in your... Uh, yeah, that happened to me like when I was living in my last house. Yeah, no, we don't yeah, have them here said, where I'm at in Georgia. I mean, I can, I can see your house, but your uh, apartment behind you is pretty tidy. Maybe you might have a hob. Already. I don't think so. They're they're they're, they're indigenous, and that's not a, that's not a thing here. <laughs> Let's see. Well, so what are you doing this weekend? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna... oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Can't talk about weekend. Go, go, go yeah, take yeah. a cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think this is what yeah, twos does for? Well, Scoober here. I've been having a heck of a time <laughs> over here. I got these snappers itching and. Crying all over the place. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers snapping and whining and I can't get a week of sleep. She's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times and y'all haven't done a thing about it. Oh man. Buzz Gooba, he needs help, Bill. Mm. It's got snappers itching, whooping, and crying all over the place. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. Uh, Should we check out the back? Oh, the... oh! Oh! Did you hang up on him? No. Maybe he <laughs> hung up on us. Oh no. Oh no. What happened to, what happened to Goober? Did you not fix Mike? Oh no, he's still sneezing, eh? Um, is this a poor burr? Do you think this is what uh, twos does oh. for for a living? Yeah, I think so. I'd like to imagine. Yeah. I have to I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Help me, please. Please oh. hold. Please hold. Do you think that's a fracture hook? Uh. No, no, no. She found teeth marks in her bed post. Is it the the bed bugs? What's the bed bug? Bed bugs. Bed teeth. Bed teeth. Cone-like shapes on the underside of bed sheet blankets are comforters. Homeowners infested with bed teeth often report mild discomforts in sleeping, tickling or itching, and more rarely yeah. slimy acidic residue. Maybe not. Maybe not. These things are these things are kind of gross. Yeah, that's rough. <clears throat> you gotta wash your sheets though. You know, yeah. don't wash your sheets. You're gonna get bed teeth. Yeah, hundred percent. Um. Pipe hob? No. Raccoons? It could be a gopher. It took it wrong. They eat wood. Right? 
Yeah, I think they do. Mm, is it gopher? Don't get gophers inside there, do you? Um. Yeah. Maybe not. Hmm. Uh, this is tough. Oh. What was this one? Carpenter ants? Mm. Rustling sound from the walls and teeth marks on my bed. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Mmm. Oh, man. This is a hard day at work, Bill. I mean, it's not bad. Good guess with the gophers, though, too, so I appreciate it. I, I don't think you're right in this case, but... What am I going to say? We need ideas, right? We need, uh, we need yeah, we creative ideas in this business, and so... Oh, 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 oh. Go, 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 go. Supervisor Carol here. We've received complaints that some of the answers that you have been providing have been inaccurate. Oh, no. I, I urge you to think more carefully on the answers. She's not happy, is she, Bill? Before we are forced to terminate. You've been warned. Whoa! Carol's not happy. She's going to terminate? I'm sorry, I gotta pay my bills. Ugh. Ah, what did we get wrong? Hey, when we take our lunch break, can we go to that new deli on 5th Street? 100%. Can we do that on lunch 100%. break? 100%. Oh, no. do, like, but I hear they have cellar groves downstairs in there. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. Sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while. But then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or drop things or whatever. <laughs> a scratching noise. This is hard. In my house. That could be anything. A scratching noise in my house. No oh. damage or droppings. Um, that'd be a hob. What's a mole do? Hmm. I don't think it's going to be a mole. I think we had a mole yesterday. Hmm. It's real quiet. There's some kind of pest in my walls. I wonder if it's going to be a hub. I don't think it's a fractured hub. But it's in the walls. Yeah, but this one, he, he, he has no cracks or fractures in it. What a common hub? He says it's in the walls. or flapping at night it's but, but no droppings this is tough this could be ants this maybe this one maybe the maybe the last mm. answer is wrong and this could be ants right? I don't think so well I think rustling set what why not um they can cause damage to homes they nest within yeah but he can just hear the scratching or something 
He thinks it's in the walls. I set up traps. It's don't be scratching. What about this? I thought one worked for a while, then I started hearing it again this week. Don't be scratching. I don't know, the entry says that. If you take his hands, go for it, buddy. When you get fired, I'm gonna take your cubicle. But two, look, it says, it says, a faint rustling sound coming from the walls as they build their nest. Is the faint rustling also known as a scratch? And that's the million dollar question. I'm not worried we're going to get fired. I think you're officially accurate. <laughs> uh, you, you, what do you think? You go, you, you pick what you think. I did it. I said it was ants. Turks is gonna lose his job, buddy. Gonna lose his job, Tugs. We try to help him. I try to help him, boss. Maybe mice? Uh -oh. This is tough. I'm finding this hard. I got 100% yesterday. We know what this is, Smudge. No worry, Dan. Dan, it's not He's Bob. Old. This is a desk cob. It's a desk cob. He comes in, organizes his desk, and leaves. Hey, boss, we got one right, boss. See, I think it was, if it was mice, too. So if that last one was mice, then they'd leave droppings. Ooh, 60% accuracy. That means you got two oh. wrong, Bill. That's a passing grade where I'm from. Shoot. That's tough. I'm not going to get a coupon. It's okay, buddy. Should we do another day? One more day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we get um? What's this? It's booby booby on the old OS. Human DNA confirmed. Eight to four grand, it's not bad. How do you find out what you got wrong? That's what the Tugs asked. I don't, I don't think you can find out. Oh, look at that dude, 1,600 square feet of the garage, $104,000, bro. Mm, that's nice. Uh, two, it's impossible to find a two-bedroom house, by the way. Whoa, look at that look at mansion, bro. $120,000, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, community alert. Civil authority has issued a missing persons alert for the following counties. Bush County, Maple County, Parkway County, Berry County. Oh. Four counties has missing people all of a sudden? That's fucking this ominous. Missing persons alert authorities are currently looking for missing child Robbie Parker, male, brown hair, approximately four feet tall, last seen wearing a yellow shirt, brown shorts, and White tennis shoes suspect is described to be approximately six feet tall, barefoot, wearing a large bush or shrub on their person. Last seen oh, at no. approximately 10.25 a.m. Please report any unusual activity to your <coughs> authorities. Go watch out for those men wearing bushes. How does one wear bush? Hard to say. So, why are we watching real estate updates? It's too late for you now. They gave you access to more info, didn't they? I warned you, if you end up like me, join me in this hole. They haven't found me yet. It's safe here. 
A network is migrating our back-end services over to a new hosting provider, so you may experience some occasional network errors. Be sure you are studying your information entries carefully while you have access, because the network goes down while you're on the phone. We expect it to provide accurate answers to our callers, regardless of the status. Oh dear. No oh dear. I was challenged, Bill. I was challenged by yesterday. But now, today, I'm coming to work on Wednesday, and I'm going mm -hmm. to do a better job. I'm going to be a good employee. Hell yeah. Let's clock in. Come to work early. I think Carol might unlock some more, uh, well, I don't know, not, might not some more entries for us. Might not deserve it. You think she knows we're here at work yet? Ah, uh, yeah, because we clocked in. She'd see us. She's always she get the, uh... She's always watching. <laughs> Good morning, Carol. Hello? She's happy now. Supervisor Carol here again. Hey, We've Carol. We've your permissions. You should now have access to more extensive information to work with. Thanks, Carol. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information Does she wear, like, is just a and shirt? not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. No. Thank you. Right. I can't tell this is a tan shirt, it's a low cut. I couldn't tell. Okay. Here we go. Tea Sprite. Mm. They love tea. Leaf light droppings fluttering near kitchens. Toilet hob. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. almost as big as my dog. It doesn't hiss or growl or anything, but I haven't gotten close enough to it to find out what it is since it's always just lurking out of sight from the top of the stairs. I need someone to come get this thing out of my basement as soon as possible. I've locked the door since I can still hear the steps creaking under its weight down there. Okay. Steps creaking under Please its hold. weight. It's as big as a dog. Does oh, it hiss or growl? Unicorn fungi horn-shaped fungus on the head? <laughs> Whistling fungus? Eh, no. Whistling sound coming from their walls? No. Uh-uh. A wine sprite? Oh, man. Yeah. Broken glasses and their wine having a rotten taste and smell. Oh, no. <laughs> Seemingly human designed objects that can manifest inside of inside a home. What about a boggart? Oh Activate a boggart by any name. Vacate the premises. Do you think it's a cellar growth? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. <clears throat> um, as big as a dog. False rose bush, of course. Right. <laughs> True or false? Did AI generate these pictures? No, I don't think so. These are real pictures. Okay. That's the incorrect audio sample, by the way. So yeah, I so I can see. A mirror nymph. <laughs> Steam the likeness of homeowners and pass by. It says it's huge, almost as big as my dog. Yeah, that's the crazy part. Is it a raccoon? Oh, 
Oh, is it this? Mm, I don't think so. It's like slime here, right? Dog-sized slugs? Oh, maybe. It doesn't hiss it doesn't or hiss or growl. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would think he would t complain about it leaving slime, but like, maybe that's just the answer. He hasn't got close enough, so maybe that is the answer, yeah. I think it's a shot. David, this one's easy. You just have to uh, surround the affected area with a thick barrier of salt. It's a stair slug! Stair slug? That one's right, surely. Yeah. Hope Carol's happy with this. Right. Gotta make Carol happy. Do not attempt to apply salt directly. After it's dehydrated itself, you can dispose of its body. Did you get the donuts in the break room when you came in this morning? Uh, no. Turned out they were, uh, they were, they were hops. They're so good. Oh, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh Michelle's still here. still crawling in the walls! Whoa! The instructions you said didn't work at all! I'm going stir crazy here! I still well, haven't tugs. been able to sleep! I That's how you found out. Rocks. Oh no, sorry Michelle. Oh no. That's how you found out, Tugs. <laughs> yeah, I don't I know what we so. sent her last time, but just she didn't direct, like it. Just some direct feedback, I guess. <laughs> oh. There's a lot of people calling the home. Safety hotline, eh? Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what it could mean. It just makes this nasty sound anytime I run it, along with this, uh, nasty smell. Ugh. Please hold. Okay, well, we think this did, should this be a, is it a toilet hob? Oh, no, wait, weird noises from the bathroom faucet. I'm not sure about that because it should be a pipe growth. Let's go back to pipe, pipe growth. Hmm. How's Peter doing, buddy? Well, so Peter says weird noises from the bathroom faucet. I'm not sure what it can mean. It makes this nasty sound any time I run it, along with this nasty smell. I don't know, but here's a pipe hob. No, they're, they're clean, so... No, they're not gross, are they? I like our idea of the... is it the pipe, uh... No, they clean. Is it the pipe uh, thing you're looking at there? Yeah. yeah. 
type growth. <laughs> I think it's, it's not the salad growth. Um, it's gonna be pipe growth, it's gotta be. I agree. Sure. Sure. Do it so good. Come on, boss. Do we get promoted? Hope so. It's kind of quiet all of a sudden. Yeah. That's gross. I want to hear that thing. I don't want to hear any of them. Do you think you could work at a call center? I'm not sure I could. Uh, I have before. Oh, yeah? How, how was that? Yeah, uh, a couple of my wife. I can't. Her face. It's gone. It's gone. My wife. I can't see her face. I can't see her face. She's dead and I can't see her face. They're all gone. It's all gone. What is happening? Please hold. So that bill, I believe. I believe is a memory wisp. Oh yeah! <clears throat> Invisible household wisps. They remove memories from the home uh, and its homeowners. That's it. They report missing it's pictures, photo albums, and the inability to remember the face of loved ones. Yep. Easy. Don't worry, Quaid. Uh, yeah, from age 18 <laughs> to 20, I worked at one. Uh, Sorry, two this, years. The solution here is they'll move up the house on their own. Once they've stolen away the inhabitants' memories, there's no need for further action. Oh no! Sorry, Sorry Quaid. Quaid. Just uh, they'll leave now that they have the memories of your deceased wife. That's a big yikes. Zan says it was the worst time of his life. Sorry, what was? Uh, how did you find it? Uh, the place I worked at had a bad culture. It was like mm. basically like uh. Almost like a college campus. It was poorly ran. I, I got so many stories, dude. So many stories. Uh, I don't know what this weird info you said. <laughs> oh, no. I tried it and uh, it didn't fix the faucet. I'm calling a plumber. Thanks a lot for wasting my time. Oh, man. man. I thought I was going to have to look up the answers. I thought we got two of the three right here, though. I just don't know what that one could have been. I don't know. This is the boss. Oh, hey, whoa. Yeah, my name's Fred Pinball. <laughs> I'm calling to lodge a complaint against your place of business. I have <laughs> never seen such a big old mess left behind by your passenger. <laughs> Tons of twigs, sticks, and pebbles. So I ain't putting up with it no more. I got sawdust coming out of my drawers here. I had to grab you by the goober and smack you around till next Sunday. <laughs> oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do to make this right? <laughs> oh, man. All right. Thanks, Fred. Thanks for calling. Uh, <laughs> um, the one I worked at was a internet technical support, mm. like DSL internet. Um, and then after that, I worked at one short term for like a year. Um, it that one was a. I think I said before, I was, I was helping the hearing impaired with phone calls. Blimey. The whole thing. Uh, oh. yeah. Hi? I, uh, have no oh. idea what's happening. My sheets are growing nasty. Easy, one. Things on them Easy. And my legs Harvey, don't like worry about crazy. it. Do it's I need teeth, to shower Betty's. more often or something? No, wash your sheets, I usually Harvey. shower, like, once a week for my skin health, so maybe that's Whoa, it? Wait a minute. Maybe, uh -huh. yeah, that's it. That's Please it. How old? That is it. Oh, see that network error. Oh no! Don't worry about it. Bed, bed bugs. Wait, no, not bed bugs. 
No, 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 no. Batiste Mudge. Oh my god, you almost met the boss lady, man. Look, there's a there's an entry in between here. That means there's something else relating to the bed. Oh, interesting. What else could be in the bed? I'm not sure what I know. Uh, bed knob. Shower every day, Bill? Yes. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm. Bed knob. Oh. Hello? Hello, Wanda. I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. The wall in my bedroom doesn't look right near the bottom. The bottom of the wall has okay. cracks or maybe it's peeling. Yes. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. I have a cat named Whiskers and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. But As one does. That to the wall. He knows just how naughty that would be. Mm, mm, is it one of those fracture knobs? Is the network working? There's, there was something on here. Wood secretions? No. Mm. Peeling paint, small holes in drywall. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, she says cracks, but maybe it's peeling. Because it could be a, it could be a hob. Oh boy. Look at the fractured hob real quick. I just wonder if it's a wall, is it going to be made of, because termites go for wood, right? So maybe... maybe I don't know, man. Hook. It could be the one. It could be the one. Roll the dice. Sorry, Wanda. Sorry, Wanda. Just not sure. Uh, oh, it was wrong answer. Sorry, Wanda. Lag. Lag. <laughs> Hey, Gary. You think this is some kind of joke? Last oh, week, no. I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room, and the info package you sent me said something about leaving out a bowl of cream? What kind of joke is that? It's been a week now that I've been dealing with this racket, no thanks to you, and now we're starting to have power outages. Your employee's stupid joke is now probably going to cost me who knows how much in repair costs. So talk to your manager and tell them they owe me big time. You figure out what's going on in my house and you figure it out now. Right. Just Please mad. hold, Gary. Please hold. Please hold. Man, but also power outages, weird noises Please from hold. the living room. So I wondered if it was a bogger. Flooding fires or electric Oh, outages. yeah. They observe their targets while they sleep. Yeah. I'm going to say it's a bogger. Yeah, it's 100% a bogger. 100%. Just our advice here, once you become aware, simply vacate the premises. <laughs> I think it's a bogger. Yeah. Gary's gonna be, you'll be fine, Gary. You'll be fine, buddy. You'll be fine, just move. No problem. No problem, just move. 66%. Mmm, that's, 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 still not that's great. better. That's better. That's not great, though. We made it two days of work, man. Two days of pay. Should I look up the answers? Mmm, I don't think you cheat yourself. No, I don't think so. Well, well just, just, for the, just for the last ones. Sure. Just so we can see where you went wrong. Sure. 
How you gonna look him up? You just remember him? Just gonna Google it. What are you gonna Google? <clears throat> what you going to Google, brother? So last time, we I think we got I think we got three right, so we got two wrong. So the first one, so this is yesterday on, on Tuesday, day two. The first one was black mold. What did we say? I don't remember. Uh, the pipe. No, it wasn't the pipe. Black mold. Did mm. we say it was? Oh, oh, it was. It was his allergies. Oh, I think even you said that. Uh, <laughs> Didn't you yep, said it could yep, be yep, mold? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the first one. <clears throat> then I think we got this right. It was a common hob. Yep. Then I think two's got this one right. It was a mouse. We said we got that one wrong. We said it was. We said it was. Oh, I don't know. Then, then there was Fred, who said it was carpenter ants, and then Dan was a desk hob. So I think in that one we got common hob, hmm. carpenter ants, and desk hob right. But I think I think for Michelle we said carpenter ants, but then we thought maybe it wasn't in the end. They're real tricky with how they do it. You know what I mean? Like they kind of give you multiple things you for know? sure for sure for sure so in the third one and the day we just did first one was a stair slug we got that right yeah so we got four out of six. Second one was yeah. fro the pipe one was frozen pipes okay does that cause a smell I wouldn't know quaid was a memory wisp Yeah, we got that one. He was the one my my my, my wife's dad. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, the wife, my wife. Harvey yeah. said bed teeth. That was an easy one. That was the easy. That was the easiest of easy ones. Wonder. What did we say for wonder? Fracture hob. Yeah. What was it? Termites. Oh, you said that was a termite. And then Gary was a bogger. Oh man. Four out of six. Four out of six. Damn it, man. Right. Well, that was home safety hotline. Do you want to start up yours? Yeah, man, that's pretty cool. That's interesting. That's cool, right? It's very novel. I think I'm probably going to play for the rest of that. Yeah. How long is that going to be, man? So, I think... I think... I think there are seven days. So you're almost halfway there? Sure. Yeah. Nice, buddy. Uh, right, what you got first, Bill? Uh, let me share it to you, so give me just a minute... Take your time, um, sir. I'm inter- I think I'm interested to see this one. Yeah, I've always yeah. wanted to see it. I don't really know much. Oh, I, uh, no, I do know. I do know a little bit about it. I do know a little bit. I don't know much at it's all. It's a classic. When did this come out? Two years ago? Uh, I think a year or two ago. Um, let me figure out how to get this working. Hold on a minute. I'm going to look into your Steam library in the meantime. Oh, you're welcome. Nightfall, a daring journey, as much. What game? What game, man? Is that you said that game's good yet? <laughs> uh, I couldn't say. Don't ask for that. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother to change the screen. The stream. We'll just look at my Discord for a second, and uh, I'll wait for you to stream the game to me. If I can figure out why it's not populating, I, I will. Hold on a minute. I don't know why it's not. It's going to take a minute here. Which I'm going to try 60 frames a second. Let's just go crazy here. Is it working? It's working perfect. Uh, I think you're good. You got to minimize that bottom part there, yeah? Don't know how. Uh, hover over my face. There's like a little arrow there. The down, you see it? Boom. You're an expert. Well done. Yeah. No problem, buddy. This is Chicory, a colorful tale. 
Chicory, a colourful tail, Smudge. This is a pleasant game. I like the last one, which didn't seem very pleasant at all. I think this is a pleasant. <laughs> There's co-op in here. I didn't realise that. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm not going to play with you, but okay. Interesting. Maybe next time, if you like it. That's are, you a, are you a big painter? No, I oh. I used to. Oh. This is this is an important question. What's your food? You say chicken. <laughs> Cake. <laughs> oh, you mean bread? Breaded, just bread cake. <laughs> Good, perfect. Perfect. Hmm. Confirm. Perfect. The magic paintbrush. It's every stroke. It's every stroke fills our world with color. I'm already into the music. What should you do? Play this half an hour or so? And then yeah, do yeah. another one? Someone has to wield it. The brush has been passed down through the ages. But the current wielder, Chickory. She's so cool! A total genius. Our world's never looked better thanks to her. Hell yeah. And that's why it's up to me to keep her tower clean. Oh. It's a lot. I like it a lot already. Whoa! Woo! I'm cleaning. It's like power wash. Whoa! What's happening, Smudge? I don't know, buddy. Something bad? Nothing good? Mm, the music kind of died down. The music changed, yeah, I like it. Bill, this game is making me smile. Yes, cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. The color's gone out with the world. All of Chicory's colors. It must have cleaned too hard, no, it Smudge. Wasn't, it wasn't our fault. I've got to tell her fault. right away. It's the whole world, Bill. Oh, it's the Wilder Tower. It wasn't their color here earlier? Oh, yeah, this portrait. It's Almond, the classic Wilder. One of the first to really show her personality and her coloring. After her, Wilder's staffs became much more diverse. We've got to respect her legacy. A lot oh, of man. Is he gonna, is he gonna talk about all of them? Nah, we're not gonna read them all though. We'll read one more the Pig. rabbit guy. Okay, fine. The rabbit. Hmm. Mm, this one, I think this one's carrot. He was okay. <laughs> he experimental. Even at the time I don't think it was very popular, but I know he's he's got some fans. Nice. Just a pig. Oh, this one's Parfait. 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 She was colorful in her road, just like chicory. If she were here, she'd probably say, Don't worry, bread cake. It's fine that all the colors just finish for no reason. I think I would have picked pizza. I'd probably put, just pick chicken. Okay. Got a little chicory now. The chicken's a good name. Bread cake. I like bread cake. More of them. Oh. What's this doing out here? Chicory! I'm sure she's there, but she left her precious lane here, Smudge. Everyone must be panicking. My no. What? What if I use the brush, like she would? She'd appreciate the help. Maybe, at least for a little bit. Take it. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh yeah. Perfect. I gotta paint the rug, Smudge! Oh, Be right paint yourself. Be right back. I got the outside of the map, Smudge. That's on me. That's, that's on me. I got the outside of the map. 
Woohoo! Perfect. It's Bill. Okay. Perfect. Bill was here. Bill was here. I, 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 okay, we're back on the map. That's on me. We got. That's on me. Uh, should I go say hey? It's locked. locked. Oh, she's okay, but good thing she has me to help. I'll go take care of stuff. I'll go paint the world. Uh, chapter one: The Dark oh. Forest. This is lovely. Yeah, it's good music too. The Lunch Kingdom. Nibble, tunnel this way. We gotta go. What if we paint the world blue? Do you only have I guess you only have blue for now? I don't know how to change it. Yeah, I guess, I guess you can change it later. I'm not gonna raise it! Can you, um. Ooh, I can make it bigger. <gasps> you can change color. Oh! Ooh, Smudge! It's my, my house! Sparse. Yeah. <laughs> it was like your house. It's a nice house. It's a nice house. My parents once convinced me the world used to be black and white. That's why they're black and white films. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, Tim, how to get that out of myself, buddy. This used to be one of Chickory's paintings being wiped. The Potluck Art Academy is in charge of these. Hey, Tanny. 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 Oh, it's P and Ginger. What up, Ginge? Like, oh, man. Howdy ho! Where the kick? Shikra gave you the rose! Have you developed your style yet? There's so many ways of color. I know what mine would be. I'd use LB. I'd make it huge. Color everything super fast. That's the best style. Huh. I'd use LB to make it small and press R to zoom in. The small details. That's wrong. That's a horrible <laughs> style. Okay, we got a small, medium, big. Oh, you can zoom! Nice. I'm all for big. Just paint some nice grass. What's that in the back, Bill? What's that? Something in the back there. Behind the house. Uh, what are you talking about? Behind the tree. Uh, I don't think I'm going to paint the trees. Look at that. Very nice. This game looks cool. It does look cool. Whoa, I picked up Whoa. some litter. Hell yeah, put some litter. Lost kid! Nice. Hello, Basil Expedition. Oh, hell yeah. I love looking at Basil. Is he a hyena? What a love. pimp, right? Love? What, what a pimp! Hello, hello, bread cake. Hello, bread cake. Uh, what's that? Can't press small. Paint the cloud. What clouds? I don't see the clouds. Some flowers grow when in color. Others grow when they're blank. If you wish to erase a colored one, you can use the El Interesting. Some flowers grow. <laughs> Bill, I would 100% play this game. Yes, it's cool. Whoa, look at those flowers, wow. bro! Really slapping on the paint. Oh! Can you right, make man. those bushes? Can you make those trees, bro? Hmm. 
I don't see any clouds if I'm blind. Those clouds! Pocket jacket. Ooh, yeah, where wear. now? Always wear. Always wear. How do you zoom in on my pocket jacket? Nice. Nice. Uh, let's keep it moving. Yeah, is there anything else in here? Should we go in that cave? Yeah, let's go in the cave. Let's go in the what's in the cave? Oh, did you see that? Song? Like, Sorry, because you walked over those trees, didn't you? These trees here? Yeah. Boop, they're back. Uh, gotcha. Nipple Tunnel. Did you see they're releasing like an anniversary of the movie 7? Okay. It's like in a collector's edition in a box. Did this, uh, does this, does this movie make you think of 7? Does this game make you think of the movie 7? 100%. Yeah. Um,. But right. it comes in a box, in box, and it says on there, what's in the box. Mm, Pretty fun. Indeed. I wonder how long it took someone to figure that idea. Oh, man, million dollar idea. What are we doing with our life? Maybe I paint these and light them up. Nope. Nope. <laughs> you can't paint them. Okay, maybe need to, maybe need to grab them. Wait, did I paint that one? No, I didn't. I painted the floor. Uh... Wait, what? What am I missing here? What am I missing here? Is it anybody? Is it a color situation? Or maybe you just need to navigate around. Hmm. Nibble tongue. I mean, yeah, this has got to be... Why can't I... Wait, god dang it! What's this right here? Uh, it looks like a... Uh, uh, a, a stalactite? Stalactite? Or a stalagmite? It's just like the rock in the cave, isn't it? Uh, it's kind of like uh, the Final Fantasy VII state. I just gotta, maybe you gotta fight them things. This is a dead end, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we got more places to explore, I guess. Sony's dead playing twenty. I thought it was in a. Oh wow! Didn't know that. I thought it was at eleven, but. No, but it's, I think it was 11 Europe time. Can you paint? Can you paint the river? Oh, this is a river. I can paint the river. Paint the city red, buddy. I don't know what that does, but it looks cool. Okay. Uh, let's see what we're missing here. Tell me something we're missing, right? Get that rake though. Get that nope. rake though. Oh, look at this little guy! Oh, the guy on the left is mad. That make it feel better. Let's cover him in paint. These guys. He's racist. I'm sorry. Uh, it's more macaroon. Oh, Oi. Oi. my house ain't got no colors no more. Uh, Fix it. Give me some tough colors. You got it? Tough colors only. And if you didn't already know, you can change it with RP. Chop chop. Oh, what's a tough color? Oi. Those colors, they're so tough, I love them! 
You did a big up job. I gotta thank you. Nice. Get a brim cap. Oh yeah. yeah. Hope you love that hat. Much as I love these tough calls. Thanks again. Zoom in on the guy. Hello, Pepper Nickel. Oh. Ah, Chicory, I thought you were really that British. Mm. Winter well, simply aren't as good as they used to be. I missed the days of Black and Betty. Oi. Chicory is amazing, oh, Wilder. Wow. Well, if you did that sort of thing. Oh, okay. Everyone's a critic, aren't they? But the Black Betty lives in the southeast in the supper woods. You should go meet them. You get to Pansy House. I like the color purple. Too. Oh, hey, what you coming back home? Oh, but mmm, it's really not very balanced. Let's see additional colors. You can use the RB button to change uh -huh. the colors. Come purple on, house. Give him another purple. color. Purple, purple, purple. Give him another color. Bill, no, give him another color. I'll give you that color. The color you deserve, purple. Bill, he said give you, purple, give you a hat or something. You crazy? You think so? Yeah, of course. Now that you mention it. I'm all about making it look good here, Chief. What are they now, Barbara Nagel? Hmm. Can you add one of this color and less of this color? Gotcha. Gotcha. Ooh! I'd like to see an additional color! More purple. But purple. This color! No, oh, no, <laughs> Bill! Can you add more of this one instead of this one? This fucking guy, bro! It's too hard. Don't do all of it! Don't do all of it! What, you just did the same thing! <laughs> it's he's watching that me, Smudge! <laughs> you just keep doing the same thing over and over again! I'd like to see an additional color! Should I do a blue? Sure. No, no, no! no. You just did the same thing over and over again. He's gonna want all orange now. Can you? Uh, what? Just don't, don't do understand. the whole. Don't do the whole room. Like that? Yeah. Who wants your house different colors? This guy. This. Yeah, 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 a bit more blue. Bit more. Can you add more of this color? He wants more of that and less of that. Like this? Stop. Oh my, Smudge! What a wonderful balance of colors! Thank you for making my specifications! It's quite a lovely job. Didn't give us anything. <laughs> Silly Max Murphy reward, hmm? He got us. Please make no end to see a nice advancement. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep talking to him. He's, he's gonna have some. Maybe he's gonna have some. Give it up. Watch this. I'm gonna come back. He's gonna, he's gonna give it up. Watch this. Oh my god. What about change his house again? What you deserve. The purple. <laughs> All verbal. Purple man you are. Hello, time. Time. Oh. Do you know about drama of people? You can begin co-op. You can put you with an extra brush. Ooh, it can be nice so much. You can help us relax so much. No, put pretty, it on the docket so much. Pretty, yeah, maybe. Put pretty it relaxed. on the docket. There's a phone. Oh, wait, just a second. Whoa! Oh. Gas pit. Sorry, we're gonna be late today. Shoot, I even forgot to get dressed. Better change, press, better press pancakes to get changed. Pancakes. Much better. Okay, come on in. Oh, look at that! How 
want to get out of here? Hello? Pancakes? Whoa. Hello, Oats. Fashion is a way to show this is who I am and it's really sublime. It says this is what the world is right now. But what is the world right now? Mm, a beanie and a pocket jacket? That's the outfit I'm looking for right now. If you see it, show it to me. I'll give you something cool. Okay, we don't have a, we don't have a beanie. Don't have a beanie. Zucchini! Excuse me, I'm working. Go bother somebody else. If you must know, I'm writing a book. It takes a lot of focus and effort and it's very hard if someone's bothering you. Please! I come to lunch in, because I've been stuck on my book, but there's so much creative energy here. My ideas are fine begin flowing. You're an artist, you understand. Okay. Hello, Cola. Well, hey there, Breadcake. Breadcake? What's new What's new at the tower? Well, I see chicory and lunch at the brush. <coughs> you know, this is great timing. I was just thinking our shirt design was stale. Want to draw a new shirt? Well, yeah. yeah! Great! Everyone will be excited to do a Willard. Just whatever you want. We're good at wearing, uh, drawing shirts. We are. What? Um... Can you change color or just... What about like a... Like a no, lightning... I what a lightning bolt? I can't change color. Okay. Just like a lightning bolt, like a... Wow. That's kind, of, that's kind of weak. Okay. Oh, it's not bad, Smudge! Can we color it in? Is that, is, that, is that circle at the top not the neck, though? I don't know where the neck is. Yeah, this one look cool though. When he, when he has like, he's gonna get a tattoo that matches it, that way he kind of finishes up. Oh yeah, right. Of course. Done. Yeah. Wow, it looks great. I can't let you do it without transport. Whoa, I took one, but look at that custom tee. Wear it. Yo, I'm Harry no, that's Potter. Pretty, that's, pretty good. that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right. Hello, Kilda. Hey, hey mate. Loving new shirt. It captures the personality. Make sure you wear it everywhere, as so everyone knows to come to our cafe. It's a pyramid scheme! Uh, I'm not sure that's what a pyramid scheme is. The only number I've memorized in my So I, I remember, yeah. You, I remember um, this bit. You should do this. You, should call, you, you always should know what to do when I'm lost or stuck. Those are the best. I remember people call. talking about this when. Get a hit. Yeah. Ah, sorry I wasn't at the phone. Hi, Mom. Bread cake! How are you doing? You explain the whole situation to Mother. Oh, hmm, that's interesting. Well, it sounds like we should head to Slipper Woods. The old wooder blackberry lizard, doesn't she? She probably wouldn't know what to do. I hope that helps. It's always good to hear from you, Bread cake. I'll be thinking of you. Oh, hang on. Dad's got something to add. You know how he is. When he knows the right answer, he can't help but share it. Want to talk to him? Yeah. Okay, I put him on. <laughs> Listen up. To get to the woods, you gotta fancy with your brush. Color in those big flowers to make a path in the low road. You'll need to race those same flowers. They grow to make a bridge of the high road. If you don't know how to race, try asking around. Or just push buttons. Make sense now? I believe in you. Until next time. I love it. So yeah, basically, like mom, mom will give you a like a a vague yeah. hint of what you're doing next, but then dad will be desperate to tell you exactly the right answer. Hundred percent. Oh. Oh. What's with all these lost children? Be a foster parent here. Oh, shoot, look at that. It's a gift! Yeah. Oh, oh Smudge! Do we, go back, do we need to go back to the sheep or? Yeah, we do. Oh, look at that. Nice. 
God, this is a whole path. I need to go back to the shop first, much. <laughs> uh, I can't help it. The video games in me. You know how it is. Can I do this? Woo! Nice. Shortcut. That's good. Can you do that? Uh, maybe we can do that as well. If we erased it while we're still at. So what? Maybe we can erase it. Like, erase the paint. Oh, the yeah, maybe. What was it? Overalls, you said? Poly jacket, I think. Whoa! Whoa. That look is perfectly on point. It's what I've been looking for. Oh! Worth it. Fashion Master knows the right to wear some new. Look at that. A new oh, outfit. Is it now? The sun over the flowers. Sun the sun the over flowers. the flowers. Interesting. It's like a probably like a sun hat or something with a flowery top. Yeah. I praise the sun so much. I like this. I like this a lot. No, it's not working. Yes, yeah, cool. It's worth a try. Yes, yeah, cool. It's cool. Let's go maybe find this uh, person before we call it, maybe. Yeah, sure. Uh, I could go down. So, who's this? Whoa. Did Chikra give you that brush? I mean, this is the best one for. Yeah, she looks very uh, artist. It's worse than I thought. We don't seem ready. I hope I'm wrong. Come this way. Ooh, do I go down there first, then? Uh, no. That's a whole new zone, Smudge. Boom! Nice. Some good sounds. Say sun over the flower, yeah? Well, it could be sunglasses, right? Oh, you're right. Nice. Oh, puzzles, puzzles. Now we're painting the puzzles. And you want those trees up, right? Like sit here and just paint everything on the screen. You know what I mean? Like I don't have the time for that, but I mean, if you want to, Bill, let's do it. That kind of, nah, nah, nah. Maybe I, when I when I see the right scenery, I'll do that. You know? When I'm inspired. What's the song though? I feel like it's leading up to the uh, like a, a fast-paced tempo that it kind of puts me down. Oh, look at that. How many of those should we clear off? Uh, a hundred. Get 
anybody. Maybe you need a different, maybe you need a new brush. Can you, can you, um, can you paint these while you're still in them? Probably not, right? Oh. Sort of. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But not to get, not to get you up there. How do I get up there so much? I haven't got the double jump yet. What's he saying? Is this a Metroidvania? <laughs> Take the string shot. This area. <laughs> yeah, there has to be a way there, right? What, what's that little one for? Where? Here? The one below. I don't know. I don't know so much. Come back, though. Come back. I must know. Is that money? Letter. Yeah, pick up some letter. Oh no. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in these. Yeah, I'm not sure. Isn't a part of the, the game mechanic? I think she's gonna teach you. Well, yeah. Oh, you think so? Yo. What? This is an artist's house. Yeah. Put me out. Look at that. Got him. This was fun. This is cool. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. You cool, mom and dad again? Uh. Oh, look at that. Oh, what's this, what's oh, this over here? Some spooky Ooh. stuff. Oh, the music changed. You hear that? Let's, let's call let's call it the fam before we call it here. Hello. Hey mother. Bread of the cake. Things fine. Look up a blackberry. You're close to her house. She must be nearby. <laughs> like, hey. 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 Give me the give me the hey. phone. <laughs> oh look. <clears throat> Give me the phone. That's cool. I like that. Love it. Yes. <laughs> Finally got the phone. The phone. Here's it. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh, there's a big big tree you got inside. That's all there is. To it. You'll find out to get there. Love you. <laughs> so good. See if he's right. The old man's always right. Probably. Hey, look at that! That is a spooky tree. Let's uh, let's see what let's see what she wants. She can give us a new. That's all there is to it. Alright, so I knew too that there's some sort of like dungeoning in this also. Oh, that's cool. Like puzzle dungeons to um. You have to sort of manipulate the. <laughs> Is she? You're getting overtaken. Whoa. Whoa. What? In the negative zone? Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, is this man. Shinra Tower? Is this Shinra? The Mako reactor? What is this? It's painted. Hey, them all. This is music, bro. Bro.
This is fucking trippy, dude. See that coming over. Chapter two: A wielder's duty. Uh, that's a good yeah. place to call it. I, I would say so. Jesus Christ, that was crazy. That was really cool. Thanks, Bill. I didn't expect that to happen. Me neither. I didn't have a clue. Wow, that's sick, dude. Uh, I got to put that on the list, buddy. Holy moly! I'd, I'd say so. Do you want to switch over? Uh, yeah, 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 I t yeah, yeah, let me, uh, that's crazy. Oh, that's really fun. Right, Bill. Hey, buddy. This game finish it off on. is dope as fuck. Uh, can you throw it to me? Little Guardsman. Have you ever played, uh, Papers, Please? Uh, no, I have not. I do know the game, though. You remember Papers, Please? Mm hmm I do know what you speak of. This is kind of like that. But cute. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to show you the intro. And so it came to pass that the day was to be saved by the most unlikeliest of heroes. A small child, unwillingly thrust into the workforce. One disaster after another had been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision-making. Mm -hmm. With the kingdom on the verge of knowing everlasting peace and prosperity, our hero could finally rest their weary head. But only after one more critical decision was to be made. A decision of great weight. A decision of immense importance. A decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands of people. Oh my god, you've made the wrong choice. You didn't think things through. You've doomed us all. Everything's on fire now. We're all covered in fire. How could you have done this to us? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what did you do? Who knows? Well. Right, so I'll show, well. you, I'll show you the setup and then we'll jump in. Then we'll fast forward. What? Right. Oh, Dad, I was. Oh, I oh, must have yeah, been having a little story he's got. So, uh, first of all, I love the medieval, and yet she has a Game Boy and an alarm clock. Yes. It's over. The gorillas. But since you're awake, the, the poster. I think it's time you and I had the talk. I'm pretty sure it's the Beatles, isn't it? Mm, yeah, probably. It just looks like the the gorillas, like art style, I guess. Yeah. Out of one nightmare and into another. The Sweetie, there comes a time in every young person's life. What, well, Dad? You don't have to do this. Uh -oh. When they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while he places a bet on the goblin ball <laughs> match down at the pub. <laughs> I gotta go down to the horse races, babe. <laughs> okay, so that's the setup. <laughs> so, dad sets us up uh, with a new job to um, uh, man the guard shed to the castle. Oh, boy. Okay. 
It's oh. like papers, please. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, that's hilarious, dude. Yeah, so we, we're going to have to uh, vet and make sure that the people trying to get into the castle are, um, you know, above, sure. above board. Sure, buddy. So. Charmed to make your acquaintance, young Here's our first, our first I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Brielle and Darumia Athanatos. <laughs> this guy is so fucking sus, bro. I like him. I have been summoned to deliver the keynote speech at the Festival of Magical Freedom tonight, hosted by the Mages Guild. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, buddy, Would you sure. require anything further? Yes. Right, so now it's down to us. So, top left-hand corner, we have... Uh, three actions that we can do. Okay. Okay. So we can we can interrogate him more. So we can ask him some more questions. Yes. Um, we can use a tool. Ooh. And at the moment we have uh, one use of all of these. Like, see those crystals? So we can use mm -hmm, mm -hmm. one of these. This is a whip, and I'm not sure what it's for. This is an X-ray, a truth spray, a decoder ring, and a metal detector. Um, also, there's a notice board that will change every day. So, if the Castle Guard Corps can achieve a good star rating, there'll be a pizza party at the barracks. Yay! From Councilman Ash, they'll be demonstrating in the city square this evening held by the members of the Major Skill. If any of the speakers come through your gate, call my office to initiate their escort and secondary screening. Oh, okay. Congrats to Randy, 35 years at his post. After a six-month undercover operation at the Sprawl Cavern for the Elderly, a group of sweet Grammys and Grampies were discovered to be trafficking illegal drugs into and out of the city. Well, not every old person is treated as a drug mule. Please be vigilant when dealing with somebody's grandparent. Depressed Joker seeks a funny person with a funny name. If you call and pique my interest, there's a cash bonus in it for you. Mm, interrogate him. What's your speech about? Oh, my dear child. It is obvious to me that you do not possess a magical bone in your body, and my speech, therefore, would only serve to confuse and frighten you. Uh, I, I, I doubt it. What's tease mean, do you think? Uh, then she'll make fun of whatever he says. Uh, I think you doubt him. I think I didn't I doubt some... that. I think I could figure it out. <laughs> so she is super cool. <laughs> And many non-magical beings have attempted to learn the arts, and many of those have gone mad trying to even comprehend them. Be warned. Um, so, I think this guy had a stupid name, right? Do you remember that? Mm, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll query something, something. Yeah. So I think we should call Malcolm, who's the jester. Okay. A lecturer? Snore? Where do you get these people? Get rid of him! <laughs> Alright. Maybe that didn't work. I thought maybe he might uh, be interested in his name. But what we should do is call Councilwoman Ash, yeah? Sure. Yeah, that was on the written board, yeah. I'm so glad you called. Frankly, I was worried you guardsmen never followed the writ due to illiteracy. Oh, Admit the mage and my uh -huh. people will escort him to the venue. Mm. I don't like it. So that's our actions. So now make a decision and we'll admit. Yeah, I don't I don't like it. I don't like it so much. Sure. Stamped. That's cool. Okay, I get it. I wouldn't have done that, but the I House get of Thanatos <laughs> and indeed the entire Mages Guild, thank you, young guardian. You will go far. You will go far. Nice. Oh, okay, well, I guess you did a good job. So I think we just messed up there for Malcolm. I think we could have uh, interrogated sure. him again, probably. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> good afternoon! I am here to pick up my two kids from their no good, stingy, low life of a father who happens to be my lying, cheating, low life of an ex husband, Orlando. His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kids sent me. Uh. 
<laughs> Believe me, I would love to have him get off his jewelry butt and bring them to me for once. Um. Did you just talk to her, maybe? Talk to her one more time. It was his week with them. No, I'm sorry. It was his and his new girlfriend Callie's okay. week with them. <laughs> And do you want to know what the kids say about her? They say she's fun. I'm sure the letter they wrote is all about her. Can't decode it to save my life, though. My kid's writing is so lousy. So. Uh... I don't know what I, I... I think I would doubt it, but I don't know. Doubt her? I think so. Kelly probably isn't actually fun. She's probably just younger. Whoa. Exactly. <laughs> She's actually closer to your age than she is mine. <laughs> and now I've made myself sad. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. But, so I think uh, we should use the decoder ring. What else it do? Decode stuff. Okay. Oh, that's a book or page? Okay. Yeah. It's magic, obviously. obviously. I don't know how to tell you this, but there's more to this letter than meets the eye. Uh -oh. There's a hidden message written here. Uh oh, what's it, it mean? Says, Come, son, mommy, Kelly is night more. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> oh my god! My boys don't know how to spell! <laughs> and also, that thing about Kelly being the worst! What? What is nice. it? Huh? Oh, what so, like, come, again? come soon, mummy. Kelly's a nightmare. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, what, should you talk to her one more time? Uh, yeah. I knew I never should have introduced them to each other. Kelly was my hairdresser. <laughs> oh, no. Was no. is the key word. Can I go get my kids now? Uh, yeah, I think I trust her now. People come and go, but no matter what, you'll always be those kids' <laughs> mother. So true. She's so good. <laughs> I will be, no matter who that oh, low life man. jerk ex-husband Orlando dates. I'm very, very Thank into you for this. saying that. We can't tell. Okay. I also think that Cavs would love this game. I think so, too. <laughs> yeah, we'll let it through. We'll let it through. Yeah. Boom. Hope she doesn't go in there and kill people. I hope not. Thanks. Don't worry, Polyphemus Orlando Jr. Mama's coming for you. <laughs> Good luck. Nice. Good job, Bill. Uh, hey! Look at that. It's on the ring, by the way. Don't send the way of Mama Bear and her cubs. Absolutely not. Whoa. Hello. What in the bloody blazing oh. blasted hell is the hold up? Why have we stopped, Well, Well, sir, the guard... Silence! Speak when spoken to, or you'll get the whip! Well, <laughs> yes, sir. Now, you, child, let me pass. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. B.S. waits for no man. B.S.? Bank of the sprawl. Bank of the sprawl! Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> mm. go, to your, uh, go to your little bug, uh, your stash back there in the back. The stash, the tools. Yeah. Uh, what 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 do they do here? The bullwhip does what now? I have no idea. So when the we had, there's a little there's a little tutorial, and he said, "Well, the X-ray is the X-ray." He was like, "Yeah, the true spray does what it does. The decoder ring decodes." He said, "The metal the metal detector detects metal, obviously." And then he was the like, one. "The bullwhip." She just sang. She hummed the Indiana Jones theme tune. <laughs> And that was pretty much it. He didn't. He didn't really say what it was for. Okay, maybe we just talk to him then. What kind of business do you have at the bank today, sir? I shan't be airing the details of my BS appointment with some nosy little <laughs> brat tending the gate. Mind your business, or you'll get the whip, child. <laughs> uh oh, whipper baby. Oh, doubt. I don't think you're allowed to not tell me what your business is. Insolence! But sir, Whip it's em. only a deposit. One more <laughs> outburst, and it will be back in the cage with you. 
It puts the lotion in the basket. What do you reckon? Do you reckon, do you reckon whip him? Whip him. Do you think so? Whip him. That's what it implied. I mean, the game implied. Whoa! Oh! Hoo-ha! Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I was just slouching. Only for a second. I'll make sure that none of the blood gold falls out of its case. Uh oh Blood gold? You nincompoop. It wasn't me using the whip. If it was, believe me, you'd feel it. Wait a second. Did he say blood gold? Blood gold. Isn't that illegal? He didn't say blood gold. He said bloody gold. It's a form of oh, slang okay. he must have picked up oh, from somewhere. Okay. Isn't that right, you bloody idiot? <laughs> yes, sir. W whatever you say, sir. I'd like to take a closer look at those gold bars. Mm, confiscate. I think I need to hold on to these. Why, you greedy little urchin. Mm -hmm. I think I like you more than ever. No, it's not like that. Oh, of course. Just remember, if you make any form of profit off of those, you're as much to blame as I am. Uh, nice. how do you call the cops? Now, since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, you insufferable petty little monster, let <laughs> me pass. Um... Yeah, who can we call? Striker? I think he's the guard. We could, should we try calling him? Yeah. See what yeah, he yeah, says. yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Blood gold. We've been on the lookout for mules bringing it in oh. for the for years now. Deny this man immediately. Well spotted guardsman, you are a credit to the force. Look at that! <laughs> hell but. yeah! Deny! Get out of so here. Mad. He's so mad. Get out of here. It's the goblin's fault, isn't it? Nasty, deceptive creatures. Uh oh. Well, what about this? Let me through the gate, but I shall leave the goblin tied up outside like the cur he is. <laughs> but, sir, the gold! The gold? Silence! <laughs> All right, you rotten little girl, I'll go. But you will rue the day you crossed me. Rue the day! No, we won't. Good job, buddy. Boom! You fell before the blood go trade first day. Damn. Uh oh. That's ring. Get promoted. Good afternoon. This is Doctor Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn calling. Who may okay. I ask? Am I speaking to? This is Lil. Nice to meet you, Lil. I need one of you gate guards to come down to the dig site as soon as you can. Oh. Okay. And where exactly is? She hung up. Mm, All right. Leave the car check in. I guess we are. Oh. Whoa. Why, hello there. I have come to the sprawl to participate in capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> After years on the road as a traveling merchant, I'm finally ready to put down roots. <laughs> and what better place than the sprawling metropolis of the sprawl? <laughs> the traveling <laughs> merchant business time. Garby Bunches is the name. Garby Bunches? Garby Bunches? <laughs> Funny name. But that's gotta be made up. I'm gonna have to see some documentation. Can't fault you for doing your due diligence. Here's my vendor's <laughs> license, issued by the Sprawl <laughs> Board of Trade. Uh, it looks legit. I think you return it. Yeah, I think so. It's got the logo. It's got the city logo on it. Yeah. He's right. Everything is in order. Okay. Does Does he have a funny name? Sure. Garby Bunches. Where have I heard that name before? Wait a minute. Ask him if he's descended from Garbanzo the Terrible. Are you related to Garbanzo what? the Terrible? Yep. My great, 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 great grandpappy Garbanzo. OMG, tell him I'm a huge <laughs> fan. I've got so many questions. Like, why did he use an ice cream scoop? How did he dispose of all that mess? What? Oh my this god. This isn't helpful. You're not helpful. <laughs> Uh, that didn't help us at all. No, but I think, uh, I think he... I just can't wait to get in the mix and figure out what kind of merchant this place really needs. 
Since I was a boy selling lemonade, when life literally gave me lemons, I've dreamed of maximizing profits and Does keeping Does that imply he's low. evil? Probably. Mm. What do you think? Should we tease him? Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. sounds like a pretty messed up childhood. Says the unaccompanied <laughs> child at the castle gate. That's fair. <laughs> See, you get it. Once I've set up shops selling, well, whatever I decide to sell, I'll be sure to give you a discount. I look forward to buying... Uh, something. Mm, I don't know, buddy. What do you think? Maybe just talk to him at a time. What's, the, what's in your sash again? Now you have the metal... The, oh, we could... Do you want to truth spray well, him? I'm not that or maybe metal detector. I'm not one or the other. Truth spray is not bad though. I'm gonna say not to use the crystals. I mean, just talk to him all the time. I, he had the documentation. I think I'm not fine. planning to sell lemonade, okay. but I could see a stall for well, capes and monocles. Really mm -hmm. tap into the opera and or vampire market. Oh god, this guy's sketchy, bro. Colors and ointments. Who doesn't love a good ointment? You sketchy, bro. That sounds pretty good to me. There's too. nothing more exciting than the okay. chance of unlimited possibility. You're really like making it. me feel good about this, kid. When I start expanding, I'll let you in on the ground floor. Mm. You could be the first powder and ointment franchisee. <laughs> I'm all for it. Capitalism. I don't know. Capitalism, ho. Can you smell that? The trash barge? Yeah, it comes through on the weekends. The smell only lingers for a couple of days. Not the reek of filth and decay. That's the reek of opportunity. See you around. Ding. Ah. Look at that. GG. Oh, three bells. No more folks, time to close up shop. Put the shutter down. Ooh. There you Whoa, go. Whoa, 30 gold, buddy. Sure. Almost a perfect score, buddy. Yeah, I guess uh, we just messed up by... We, the other guy's name wasn't that funny. Yeah, yeah, maybe just like Grow Helm or, or Quiz him or something, right? Alright, so we got the dig side. The dig side. What do you think about this build? It's cool, it's real cool. I think it's super cool. Yeah. Although I do love papers, please. Hello. Uh, ammonia, hydrogen, iodine, or pretty basic stuff. Machines like this are relatively new discovery in the sprawl. They will notice the words Commander Keen on the inscrutable technical jar. Okay. Commander Keen shut down, Jesus. I love it. That's weird. The hole is so deep, you can't see the bottom. You must have a really good ladder guy. A small cot and a pile of clothes to the gap. Dr. B must sleep. Oh my, were you left behind? The last group of school children departed hours ago. Feel free to wait in the lost and found box until someone comes to collect you. No, you called me. I'm Lil, we spoke on the phone. I was covering for my dad at the South Gate. Ah, uh, of course, Lil, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do, for the sake of time. Ha, <laughs> sake of time. <laughs> do you get it? No. Trust me, you will. Where exactly am I? You're at the entrance to the greatest archaeological discovery of our lifetimes. I am Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological <laughs> research at the Royal Academy. Uh -huh. But you can call me B. Gotcha. And what's so great about this place? Would you like the long or short version? Hit me with some of that sweet exposition, baby. This place is known as the dig site. How creative. 
we stand at the site upon which power crystals were first discovered. Mm -hmm. The power crystals that I used for the tools in the guard shed? Those and every other technological marvel of our lifetimes. Mm -hmm. The power crystal was discovered completely by accident. 80 years ago, on this site, an iconic dwarven heavy metal band performed to celebrate the coronation of Princess Desdemona's grandfather, King Artemis. At the moment of a particularly rumpus drum solo, the vibrations opened up a chasm swallowing the entire stage and the musicians and a few dozen enthusiastic fans. Legend says the band emerged from the chasm adorned in the glowing magical rocks, or what we know as power crystals today. That must have looked awesome! Very awesome, but there's more. Whether by fate or the actions of an inebriated mage, the bass player was struck by a lightning bolt, and the crystals in her cape and beard absorbed the electric discharge. Everything that previously relied on magic within a five-mile radius lit up and was charged for weeks. Hardcore! Very hardcore. A massive industry sprung up and developed the multitudes of ways we use power crystals, which ushered in an unprecedented era of prosperity for the sprawl, making our city-state the world power it is today. Gotcha. Gotcha. But what does this have to do with me? I am the preeminent expert in the advanced properties of power crystals, and my research suggests we have barely scratched the surface of what these puppies can do. Okay, but again, what does this have to do with me? Lil, I have found how to harness the crystal's power to alter the very fabric of time. May I present the Chronometer 3000? <laughs> and what I need to know from you is, Sorry. do you know anyone who would be willing to go on what some might call an adventure? Oh. Uh, yes. <laughs> Push the button. <laughs> Push it. Push it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do we just skip the, the, the other dialogue? I can't so just Yeah, just push it. Whoa! What? Wait, what? Where am I? What just happened? I was just at the dig site. Now I'm back here somehow? Oh, quick pants check. No pee at least. Great. <laughs> Good afternoon. This is Dr. Marquess, Beatrix von Matterhorn calling. Who may I ask am what? I speaking to? Time traveling! Check this out. You were about to tell me you need a gate guard to come down to the dig site, right? My word, you gate guards are intuitive. I hope they're paying you a more than fair wage. They probably aren't, the way my dad complains about it. She hung up. Again. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, oh why, hello there. I've come to the sprawl to participate in capitalism. <laughs> After years Capital. on the road as a... Let me stop you there. Your name is Gravy Blanchers, right? You're a traveling merchant or something? Oh, I see my reputation precedes me. That kind of. <laughs> I love the name guy. is Garby, Garby Bunches. Bunches. This is so weird. I swear I already dealt with this guy. I can either do the same thing as I did last time, or, or maybe this is a chance to try something different. I'm huh. sorry. Are you talking to me? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to decide, Garbs. Regardless, here's my vendor license issued by the Sprawl Board of Trade for confirmation. Oh, what do we do now, Bill? I don't know, buddy. He's right. Everything is in order. I need to get this guy processed and get my butt back to the dig site. You're fine, Garby Bunches. We already know, Garby. You're good. I swear I've done this already. I remember pulling the lever. Can you smell that? I think then you said something about opportunity. You got it. See you around. I need to get back to the Four dig bell. site to figure out what just happened. Boom. 
bump a dump, bump a dump, bump a dump. What were this goes? Don't know. Obviously, we've already made a few choices that get affected, so I'm guessing there's a few different endings. Oh, Lil, from the phone call earlier, of course. Lil. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but no, this is highly irregular. But then again, you'll have to do for the sake of time. Huh, sake of time. Do you get it? I do get I it. I already told you no. <laughs> oh, wait, I actually do. <laughs> My name is Dr. Marquess Beatrix von Matterhorn, head of archaeological... Logical research at the Royalty School for Smart People. You said I can call you Trixie. We've been through this before. I'd prefer if you called me B. And this is the site where power crystals were first discovered and you used them to make a time machine. Then you baited me with promises of adventure and pretty much forced me to push the big shiny button on your silly little time machine and now I'm pretty sure I'm just traveled back through time and I'm kind of freaking out here. Any questions? Wait, why am I asking you questions? <laughs> For any of this to be possible, it would require the use of my newly crafted device. May I present the Chronometer 3000? Oh. Wait, where did it go? <laughs> oh no! Do you mean this? My invention! How did you get that? You gave it to me. Well, not really, but you were gonna give it to me, I think. You were in the middle of explaining. And you were seduced by the glowing red button. Can you blame me? Yeah. Yes, but it is a good button. I'm just proud of myself that your particles weren't immediately dispersed to the furthest reaches of space and time. Mm -hmm. That risk becomes much lower once I configure it to your individual life source, which I will do now. What does that mean? At any rate, I think the castle gate is a perfect place to test my prototype, and I need a willing gate guard to use the device. And allow me to track their progress to make sure only the right people are permitted entry to the sprawl. Do you have any questions? Right people. Individuals or groups that would improve the daily life of the inhabitants of the mm. sprawl, rather than those who would see harm come to the community and castle. Interesting. Isn't that subjective? Yes, well, I suppose it is, but recently the kingdom has seen a rise in rebellious factions, envious neighboring nations, not to mention the resentful mages' guild since the power crystal has replaced most household magical applications. One wrong choice could trigger a domino effect that could lead to the fall of the sprawl. Uh -oh. So to recap, you're giving me, a 12-year-old who worked exactly one day at the castle gate, the power to rewind time? Why not just use it yourself? I have been testing the device myself for months. In fact, I used it to repeat a month's worth of the same day and learn to play the oboe. Can I show huh. you? What'd you do if you travel through time, Bill? Um, probably something money related. Is that crazy? No, probably not. That's probably the sensible thing. Yeah, it's probably not though. I probably try to rob a bank every day for 30 days, you know? Yeah, like a Groundhog Day. I get the, yeah, yeah. But like, if you rob a bank, is are the bills marked though? Like, how do you get like? Then also, how do you just deposit that money into your bank account? You know what I mean? <laughs> I know. Like, if I have a hundred thousand dollars from the bank, I steal. How do I go deposit it? I don't know. I'm sure the government would be like, "What is this?" You know. <laughs> oh well, perhaps another time. My calculations suggest that no changes I could make from my post at the Royal Academy would have nearly the impact on the sprawl that you gate guards do. Academia, am I right? <laughs> so I came to the conclusion that trying it out at the gate is a calculated risk worth taking. I think I get the idea, Dr. B. I'm ready to go out in the world and use this device properly. And definitely not to win the lottery or to repeatedly watch people trip and fall over and over again. <laughs> You'd well, the lottery's that. answer. Yes, Laura. With all that money, I could pay people to trip and fall over and over again. <laughs> Regardless, you'll find you can't use it whenever or wherever you want. It is oh. now calibrated, so it will only allow you to fold space and time when you are inside the guard shed. Ah, oh, rat. <laughs> Furthermore.
Furthermore, by default, the device will oh. automatically allow you to travel back to the start of your guard shift, including your loadout. However, I hacked <laughs> it a bit so that you can jump back to a specific point in the turn. Hack is the key word, though. I have to leave now. There is more science to be done. I will summon you soon, and we will see what else you might be ready for. Thank you, Lil. The world thanks you. That's no pressure. You can do this. Just try not to break space and time. Imagine getting this power. I'm not kidding. There's only you usable like in your only office the gate for one day. Sure. Sure. Oh well. It's getting pretty late. I should head home. I mean, this happens in Harry Potter, right? And they they use it once and then never use it again. Where using that to defeat Voldemort would probably have been the smart thing to do. Oh yeah, I thought that was really cool how they done it there. What's that? The tavern. The tavern? The tavern? Do you live in a tavern? Let's give the ranking to a tavern here. Well, uh, it's high. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh, they got the helmet on the shelf. Oh, look at the football jersey. <laughs> the TV. The fan. That's kind of, I love it. Oh, look oh, at all these man, cool little it. things. We live above the tavern. It's a cool little tavern, though. We got the meat sausages hanging over her window. And the dad. All this stuff, bro. The Twisted Sisters. Legend has it this neon sign is made of a company that makes custom neon signs. <laughs> the football jersey. The picture of the dagger. Oh, look at this. This noise is good. So they keep the good stuff. Just the thing that says the ghost sprawl brawlers. <laughs> it's in the nicest place in town, but there's a warm fire going. Right inside down again. Hey, hey, there she is, my hard working angel face, sweetest of the sweetest daughter of mine. You didn't win your gambling, did you? No, but it wasn't my fault. The other team was just too good. But I didn't lose all my money. We still have left what I didn't bet, so... <laughs> That'll be 15 gold for the ale. Goodness me. And now we don't have any left. <laughs> hey, Lil, did you take any bribes or pickpocket anyone today? Ooh, the gold bars. Oh, man. Yes, 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 yes. Give him the gold bars? Give him the blood yeah. gold? Yeah. Well, if he gets in trouble... The guards lady, you're fine. Oh man, Bill. You tell him it's you tell him it's gold. You tell him it's blood gold. It's okay. You're a bad influence. Yeah. Seems like a terrible idea. I got this off an old mean type of guy. He had an assistant that he just kept walloping and walloping. I don't think he likes his work. This is perfect. Arda, a round for everybody. I'll be right back after I call my guy. Thanks again, <laughs> no, Wait, no. you'll never believe what happened. Right at the end of my shift, I got this phone call, okay? Asking me to come down to the dig site. Did you remember to lock up the shed? What? Yes. And turn off the light? Yes, I did. Whatever, just listen. You gotta make sure to turn off the light, Lil. They'll charge us for the overnight usage. I remember to turn off the light. I think. Anyways, Dad, I met this professor at the dig site, and she had this time machine, and when I touched the time machine, I went back in time. Then she gave me the time machine to use when I worked the guard shed for you, but it only works at the guard shed, so that was kind of a bummer. <laughs> but it's super cool, and it only works for me. <laughs> That's great, sweetie. I'm glad you liked covering for me today. But you don't have to make up stories just so you can work another shift. Wait, no, that's not what's happening. I Anytime you want to be just like Daddy and work down at the guard shed, all you need to do is ask. Dad, you're not fully comprehending what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, Arda, did you hear? Lil's making up cute stories so she can be more like her old man. Oh, that's so sweet. I have the power to manipulate time and I demand to be taken seriously! Okay, okay, I understand. I can see that you're serious. 
seriously adorable. <laughs> but honestly, Lil, you can cover for me anytime you like. You're probably doing a better job than me anyway. That's true. That's definitely true. This isn't true. how I expected so it to go. Speaking of that, I better call my guy and make a bet on the no. next game. It's getting late. <laughs> you better get upstairs to yes. bed, Missy. Good night, Lil. Yes, 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 yes. Vengeful Lil or good night, Dad? Mm, I think good night, Dad. Good night, Dad. Maybe someday you'll believe me. Good luck with your gambling. I don't need luck. Yeah, get to bed, Lil. I'll be up. Right. Whew, I'm pooped. That's enough adventure for one day. I'm ready to hit this. Huh. So it says Miss Abney Abernathy was the uh, tutorial lady. Oh, okay. Erroneous, a fan of Toss gave a keynote speech at the festival. The divide between magical and non-magical beings grew a little more that night. He's endeavoured to count the council as an ask for influence and facilitate a smooth and militant school. Nice. After Denise picked up a kid, she moved him safely out of view, but not earshot, and gave Kelly a piece of her mind. <laughs> Polyphemus and Orlando Jr. learned a handful of new words that day, but some they were new. Your cunning confiscation, denying the old coot. Grumpkin T. Dankworth is an to make his sizable deposit of the community uh. to BS. Fortunately, it happened on the same day of an unprecedented volume of cash withdrawals. This caused the bank to run and close early. People panicked. They burned the bank to the ground. Mrs. Dankworth refused to give money to have it rebuilt. Oh no! Garby Bunches found a vacant pot of land in the alley between behind the Twisted Sister Seven instead of his Emporium of Wonders. That's interesting. Right, should we do a couple more? Uh, probably. I've got a little bit of time. Good morning. You're listening to The Morning Crawl, the number one morning show in the sprawl. I'm your host, Dodger, joined as always by my co host, The Ham, who I will remind you is a live pig. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump right in and get your morning started and muse over the news. Today in the headlines, it was just announced that the heir to the throne, Princess Desdemona, has come of age and will be taking a suitor. <laughs> no, I don't think Desdemona wants a pig as a husband, the ham. But then again, neither did my <laughs> ex-wife. <laughs> oh! oh. With multiple suitors making their way into the city, <laughs> expect backups and That's delays across all major routes oh, no. this morning. Now let's get to the music. You're listening to the morning crawl here in the sprawl with Dodger and the Ham. Nice. I liked it better when it was Dodger and the Cluck, but I guess it was too hard to keep training that chicken. I think I should find my dad. I think I should find my dad. Got Good Charizard thing I was in the back my there. And I'm ready to go. A note? Dear Lil, please turn down to the garage as soon as you Maybe can. he wants me to work a shift for him again. Or maybe he forgot to put on underwear and needs me to bring him a pair. Uh, well, there's a 50 50 chance I'll get to use the chronometer 3000 today. Here's hoping. And finally, the aforementioned grading pending review will be transferable to a more viable calculation, which is, needless to say, a more economical contrivance for evaluation. Any questions? Many questions. Okay. Hey, Dad, I got your note. What's going on? I have no idea. Due to the bank of the sprawl being burned to the ground, as a result of your actions, any guardsman who does not receive an above two-star rating at the end of any given shift will lose their job. But I need my job for gambling. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't just hear that. You and gambling. I both know my dad has a tendency to half-ass his way through life. Tell me why he needs to whole-ass it all of a sudden and strive for anything above two stars. 
Why, I'm glad you asked. I've been authorized to award above average job performance with cash bonuses. You mean if we get more four-star results, we'll make more money? You're as quick as your father. Before I go, here are the allotted crystals to power your tools. Oh, yeah. Nice. And with that, I'm off to tell all the other gate guards about these new rules. Well, all of them except Randy. He's been terminated. Oh. He was going to retire. <laughs> Not Randy. That guy's a riot. Which is exactly what his poor judgment led to. <laughs> Wish me luck. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. He was, he was going to retire this month. Oh, jeez. Randy was just three payments three away payments from paying away. off his new catapult. Oh, man. <laughs> Sounds like you need to start doing your job better. More like you need to start doing my job better. <laughs> just like you wanted to. No, that's not exactly what I meant. I, you don't just get to leave me here while you go bet on goblin ball games. No goblin ball match today. I received a cryptic letter this morning saying they need me on palace duty. Mm -hmm. And they oh. specifically referenced that you need to cover for me again. Looks like you're not the only one who wants you to work the gate today. Again, not what I meant. It's not all bad news. I scored these off-brand discount crystals from my bookie Fredo as a gift for being his best <laughs> client. But he mentioned that they might only work some of the time. Oh, man. But I like those odds. Dodgy crystals. What is up with our dad? Oh, dad. You He's, really need um... to talk to somebody about your gambling. <laughs> oh, I love you too, Lil. And with that, I'm we shouldn't have given him that. Remember, dose. two stars are better, or we're out on our asses. No pressure. That's my. You think good, Zan? Thumbs up or thumbs down, Zan? Is it worth watching, buddy? Right, Malcolm. Rather than repairing the dungeon, which is falling apart, leading to the escape of a serial arsonist, I'm having the jail cells painted instead. Give me a call when the fellow gets here. Right. Expect the imminent arrival of two envoys vying for alliance in this rule. That's two envoys, not one, not three, but two. Four is right out. Take this opportunity for culture to exchange and learn as much as you can. Get them talking. The Duchess of Scarborough's award-winning feline companion, Spankles, Sprankles, <laughs> will be arriving in its miniature royal carriage this week. As always, treat any non-human visitor, goblin, gnome, ogre, etc. with extra scrutiny. If you see something, say something. Mm, see it, say it, sort it. Exactly. All right, we charged up. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Are you gotta click the tools, maybe? How many do we have? I don't see a currency in this room. So I think the, I mean the X-ray. Ah, oh, you got three. Okay, what on was it? The yellow ones are. Okay, Zan, the weird thumbs you wear around your neck like a scarf. What is that? We put the dodgy ones in the ones we've already used. Okay. Right. Hello, ma'am. The name is Seamus McGoblin. <laughs> I've been requested to do some work in the sprawl. Just have my supplies here with me. Nothing else to declare. Uh... A shatter. You have paint with you. Are you like an artist? Me? An artist? No, ma'am. I have a real oh, job. I'm a painter. I paint <laughs> things like walls and doors. An artist? <laughs> oh, you're giving me a laugh. Yeah, my mistake. Most artists I've met are hip and cool. You definitely are not hip <laughs> and cool. That's a dreadful thing to say. I would oh, encourage you to think about how your words may affect people and choose them more carefully. Oh, I'm sorry. If I'm being honest, I'm not sure what I'm being asked to paint. A note was left at my shop late last night. You can have a look if you like. If you have some work for you to do, come to the sprawl at half past two. There are two ways to paint your stuff, one legit, the other in cuffs. The little girl will guide your way so you can earn your portion of official sprawl currency. Right, we know what to do, right? Let's trust. Mysterious yeah. letters yeah, are yeah. way more common these days. And I have a feeling I'm the little girl they're talking about. I didn't want to say, but you are indeed a little girl. <laughs> For my age, I'm not. How old are you? I'm 12. Hmm, 
You still seem pretty little. Uh, yeah. Well, it's about time he showed up. Send him to my office, Toot Sweet, and I'll set him to work. No more doom and gloom down here in my office. Now it'll just be doom. Okay. What's that? Yes, I insist the horse get into the water. This is water polo, after all. <laughs> You ever ridden a horse? No. No, me neither. I'd like to. Mmm, no. I feel like I would fall off that thing and, and break something. That's, um... Hmm. Many thanks. Say, yeah. before I go, do you have a favorite color? Oh. What's a favorite color? Ooh, I think it's red. This is my opinion. I like red, I guess. Then I shall paint... Whatever it is I'm painting, red <laughs> in your honor. Thank you again. Thank you again. Is he gonna get paint the jail? Mm, yeah. I oh, see only four stars in that one. Oh. I wonder because you did make him mad? Yeah, I wonder. That's interesting. Oh, no. uh -oh. Hear ye, hear ye. I have come to announce to the princess a proposal of marriage from my lord and master, Prince Phineas uh -oh. Pomp, heir to the throne of Petra. Prince Ooh. Phineas, son of King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk, Ooh. who was daughter of King Fangil, son of Queen Amelia, daughter of King Rupert, son of Queen <laughs> <I get> it. <laughs> son of Queen Anne, daughter of Thank you. Wow. Okay. I think I got it. Look at that chin. Prince Phineas himself will arrive in the sprawl after a ceremonial visit to the Royal Sulphur Mines of Petrard. The, the Prince will be christening the newest of our sulfuric refineries by smashing a bottle of Petrardian fizzy over the front door. Tease him. Uh, I, I feel like we trust him. That sounds like it's going to be quite a party. Oh, yeah. There a it's one of the grandest events something? of the season. I thought I might be asked to play my bugle for the occasion. Uh, but the prince assured me it was much more important that I travel all the way here to announce his eventual arrival. So it said, two envoys vying for an alliance. Two envoys, not one. Could take this opportunity for cultural exchange, learn as much as you can, to get them talking. An alliance between the great kingdom of Petrarch an and the Sprawl would benefit both sides mightily. Imagine the petrol and gunpowder our sulfur mines produce, combined mm -hmm. with the technological advancements that your power crystals provide, would create a union that would make our two kingdoms the envy of the oh, world. That's voice. Yeah, pretty good. I guess a wedding so would bring right our now. two kingdoms closer together. Undoubtedly, vows made in wedlock are never broken. Well, in royal weddings, anyway. Damn you, Marjorie. Is Marjorie your ex? My ex-wife, yes. No. <laughs> Dream, just talk to him again? Uh, I think he just talked to him again and let him go. And now, in celebration of the beginning of this new chapter oh, of no. prosperity between the kingdoms of Petrard oh, and the no. Sprawl, I shall play you an original composition of my own on the Petrardian greeting bugle. If music be the food of love, then you know what to do, and a two, and a three. I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, that we trust him, right? Yeah, let him bravo! Trust. bravo! Bravo! Oh, thank you, kind <laughs> child. You know, I could have been the first bugle in the Petrardian Orchestra. <laughs> if we had an orchestra. Perhaps you know of a music director in the sprawl looking for a man with good embouchure? I'll keep a lookout for that. Right. I'm happy. Mm, I think so. I'd say, I reckon we do one more, Bill. Okay. 
onward to announce the eventual arrival of Prince Phineas Pomp, heir to the throne of Petrard and future husband to Princess Desdemona. Incidentally, I believe there is a representative of the Marvog Empire behind me seeking to make a similar offer for the hand of the princess. If you refuse her entry, I will give uh. you much gold tonight. Uh -oh. I will meet you at the tavern after your shift. Ooh. Remember, do not let in the Marvog delegate. Hmm. That's a lot of money we can use the gold at the bet. I wonder what I would do. Hmm. I wonder. No, no. Good afternoon, what? child. I would like to enter this bustling metropolis with the desire to purchase a hat. I have lost my previous hat and I require a replacement. Uh, uh, Why come all this way to buy a hat? Surely they have hats where you're from. They do, yes. But they do not match the standards of my previous hat. I was known well as one who adorned a hat of the highest caliber. I cannot go back. Maybe you haven't looked hard enough? I promise, child. I have searched high and low for the perfect hat. This sprawl is my last hope. Mm, this like old it. hat of yours must have been something special. Oh, it was. It was the most fantastic hat you had ever seen. That is how I acquired my name. Signor Capello Fantastico. What does that mean? <laughs> Mr. Fantastic Cat. Fantastic Cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst name I've ever heard. Oh, it doesn't make sense without the hat. <laughs> yes, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, should we do the... Checking the true spray? Uh, yeah, true spray. For sure. The hat. She was too much. Too fantastic for one man to wear. <laughs> I couldn't handle the pressure of adorning such a prestigious piece of headwear. I did not lose that fantastic hat. I uh, threw it away. Uh, uh, but what should have been my salvation was the greatest mistake of my life. And now I must find a new hat of equal, if greater, worth than my previous hat. I can only imagine the weight that comes with wearing such a fantastic hat. Heavy is the head, as they say. Okay, we. I guess he just wants to buy a hat. Sure. He's gonna come back later with a hat, isn't he? I hope you find your hat, Mr. Fantastico. <laughs> Thank you, child. The next time you see me, you will say to yourself, Wow! Has that guy got a fantastic new hat? I have no doubt in my mind. Ding. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> I come with a message for Princess Desdemona of the Sprawl from Praetor Cargan of the Marvag Empire. Ah. Oh. The Praetor bid me say directly to the princess, Egtag Maya Kora Una Guahatag. Grant me access to deliver this message personally, and I shall recite the Praetor's words to the princess with honor. Mm, nope. Hail, Praetor Gargan! Kapla! Kapla! No, no, no. All right. I think we'll, uh, I think we'll call it there. But uh, this scene is cool. awesome. Yeah, it's a cool game. It makes me want to pay papers please again as well. They put a lot of uh, like love into that game, a lot of attention, a lot of details. One hundred percent. Seems super cool. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Bill. What? A, thanks what, a lot, a, buddy. what? Another great Wednesday. Yeah, a lot of fun games, dude. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. We should have more time of, for video uh, games. You know? That game. That game had a lot of uh, a lot of spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pretty, yeah, did, pretty games. funny. Uh, pretty funny dialogue, like right? right? Uh, yeah, for sure. Hello, hello. Very well written and good voice acting too. Good art. Sitting on very positive on Steam right now. Nice. If Papers Please was written by Terry Pratchett, says the first. Uh... <laughs> um, do you say you have played Papers Please or not? 
No, no, no. I've seen it. Never, never played. It. I probably own. I would like to see you play that. I think you would panic. I think you would panic. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. you know what I'll it's about? Will. You know, it's a. Uh, vaguely, yeah. It's like yeah. you're you're like a, you know, you work on the border of a communist yeah. country at the end of the fall during the fall of communi- communism, and basically they yeah. keep they keep lumping more and more complicated rules. Like if you know people are like it, it begins to be quite straightforward, but then eventually they're like, oh, you know, if you have someone's from a certain country, they can't be let in. If they have a certain job type, they can't be let in, or or they have to have a certain job to be let in, and like sometimes it'll it'll do stuff like um, they'll be like this this a man will come up and he'll be, him his, his papers would be correct, and he'll be like, oh I'm really excited to come here like me and my wife we travelled a long way, she's like in the queue behind me and so you let him in, and then the wife comes up and her papers are incorrect and it's like oh what do we do like the guy's already gone through, do we send this lady home and like split them up? Uh, All that kind of stuff. Yeah. Easy. Um, yeah. I've lost my sound, really. That'd be I'm fun, saying. though. Stay safe. I think, I think I had fun with it. I think I would have fun with that game. Yeah, it's good. It'd be kind of cold, but I think I would still have fun with it. It's a thinker. It's a thinker. Uh, should we raid somebody? Should we raid? Uh, I don't... Who's that? Who's on? Who's I don't on? know. Anybody? Maybe, maybe not. Got stretch record, got tipsy. What do you think? Uh, who and who? Uh, Shred Shack. Oh yeah. Or uh, or tipsy FPS with a magnificent beard. What's a uh, Shred Shack playing? Shred Shack. Oh, Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Uh. Six? Six? Yeah. What a Final Fantasy. Ah, oh, Final Fantasy Six. Yes. Let's do that then. Okay, let me, uh, let me, let me cue it up. Hold on a second, buddy. You gotta get me to get it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Alright, buddy. Um... Thanks a lot, dude. Thanks, Zan. Uh, I'm, I'm probably really sorry. I start, I, start, I start the raid. Sorry. We, we gotta go. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bye. Thanks, up. Bill. It's Love you. Literally a button you push. It's bye. okay. You don't gotta. Oh, uh, I just. Oh, there's sorry. a button you gotta down. I don't down, know. Buddy. It just it starts counting down. <laughs> it does. There's a button you push to initiate it. It's oh, okay. I see. Uh, yeah. Okay, thanks man. for the chat about bread and cake and. Yes, I appreciate it. Have a blast. We can hang up some washing. Okay. Yeah. Use your ladder. It's okay. Um, right. thanks buddy we'll see you on Wednesday for Retro and then we'll see you on Sunday for Sapienza uh, Friday for Retro but yes I'm what did I say you said Wednesday but that's okay today that's is okay. Wednesday it's okay buddy thanks buddy bye dude thanks all thanks for joining bye bye raid hit the button hit the button and then, then, you, then you have to stop stop shooting